Hey everyone! Oh, there we go. Welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Um, I did not realize that there were a lot of mods available for this game. I just, I was just looking through them. It's like, oh, oh, oh! I didn't know you could do that. So, um, that they're not supported by the actual developer. So I'm a bit on the on the line about them i mean it's a solo game so i mean there's not a problem in any in cheating or changing things in any way and some of them uh can really make your life easier the downside of course being that this is an early access game meaning there's a lot of updates and that uh usually when there's an update the mods will no longer be compatible you'll be dependent on the one who made the mod to adjust it accordingly but it would be fun to try out sometime. I'll see. They're on the Nexus mods when I could I could see. Yeah, me. I was thinking the same thing, Pied, when I realized how many there are. Because some of the mods will be, you know, things that are modded will be adjusted in the future, will be added in the future. Um. There's one that uh, puts boxes that have been delivered in your storage. Now that sounds super handy, but they are going to add something to the game that will help with that in the future. And it's just the speed thing. Also, uh, there's one, for example, to add more customers to the game. And I am of the opinion that right now I'm, I'm getting too few customers. I'm making too little money with compared to how expensive the updates are. But there's also a hand scanner, which we've discussed before. Detailed settings, more decorations and furniture is coming. But yeah, this is just a list of what they want to add. There's, this is not a roadmap, right? This is this is a wish list, not a roadmap. Because we have no idea when what is coming. That we don't know if this is the order they'll be working in. Hmm. But yeah, adding mods to a uh, to an early access game it can be tricky because they'll be updating it soon, and then they'll be out of date. Hey, Debra. Hello. So, hello, everyone. Hey, Pied. Uh, yeah, so apparently there's football tonight. I don't follow that at all. I check the news. Apparently, uh, it's 1-1, uh, it's I believe, at this moment. But, yeah, no. I'll, uh, I'll catch it afterwards, what the score was. Sipa, thank you very much for subscribing. Also, uh, Christian, thank you for subscribing. I saw you did it just as I went live, I think. Or right before. So, hello, Gibbles. <laughs> hello, I don't have any shoplifters yet. They will be coming. They were on the list. <laughs> hey, Jewel. And Edgar, thank you for being here. Hey, sweet. Tony, hello. Oh, Baltimore. Yeah, I'd, um, that was the bridge, right? I saw that. That was awful. It, it's weird that the, the news didn't really have much on it, at least not here. Generally, we get good international news, but then it was a, it's a very short story. Uh, Tara Bibble, thank you very much for following. Welcome, welcome. Uh, for those of you who missed it, a gigantic container ship, cargo ship, uh, it looks like it lost power. We don't. There's research is still going. Uh, the investigation is still ongoing. We'll put it this way. But it looks like they lost power and they uh, went right into a, a gigantic, important bridge. And yeah, lots of people missing. It's uh, it's not good. But nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, I did see that one, Kiwi, about more customers. St 
still need a fluke for the store, yes. Every channel was taken over by tennis matches, okay. Yeah, I guess we get, we can count it uh, count ourselves fortunate that it didn't happen th during rush hour. I don't believe. But I, I saw a small piece on it. Like I said, there wasn't much news here on it. Okay, no, that song sounded like there were two pieces of music <laughs> going at the same time. All right, what did I do last time? Um, yeah, I think mostly just working on leveling up and getting my money up because the next space update is going to be almost $25,000. <laughs> yeah, you saw the lights go out on the ship. Yeah, I, I got a pretty pretty high actually I need to open open my little money file there we go um let's see because really everything that's mar I'm talking about market prices here right everything that's below two I have from 10 cents up I can't change that I got a lot of complaints when I did between 2 and 5 is 20 cents up. That's going to be pretty much the same. Between 10 and 15, maybe I should put that back on 60 cents instead of 50. But I lowered it. I remember lowering it because we got complaints. But the 15 to 20 immediately jumps to $1.20. Yeah, I don't know how you do that, Gibbles, because I don't. And I'm not spending money on weird things or... I'm way higher than you. With money over market price. So why are you making more money than I am? I have no idea. Are people buying less items when I have it too high? Is that it? But honestly, there was a point where I made more profit than now. Uh, so, yeah, I have no idea why I'm making less profit than before. It's, I think it's a balancing thing. I think it needs to be fixed. Because I suddenly had a big drop in profit. And that's when I upped my prices to recover it a bit. Well, Edge, I didn't have... That's not completely true, because at the start of the game, uh, around, you know, up until level 40, about, I... Um, I didn't have any complaints. I was like 10 cents above the market price. I made up to 3,000 profit a day. And then now I have my prices up, because my profit suddenly just plummeted. And I don't know what's, what cost it. What should we do first? Uh, I, thi I think I was about halfway ordering, wasn't I? Yeah, because the, the freezer, the cleaning stuff, and the fridge are all full. Okay, so we're, we only need to order the shelf stuff. Very good. Um, yeah, I lowered the amount in my store by a great deal, which got me a lot of money back. Because we didn't have so much unnecessary stuff stored. Yeah, I, I think I have my chicken a bit more here, but that's simply because the space was left over. Mine have half a freezer and it's enough with the restockers. But considering the cost of electricity, even if I halved my amount of fridges, that's going to get me at most $100. Not even that likely. So I don't think that's the problem. Let me see. This is all full. We need sugar. 
Oh, wait, what did I have already? I already had the sugar in there, okay. Probably check that and then realize that I really had to <laughs> knock off for, the, for that evening. Small bread. Well, we tested the money and I put it all the way up and then basically lowered it until we had a reasonable amount of complaints. We need whiskey, six packs, and one keg. Uh, so one of those, two, two. Uh, there was only one left, so let's do one more of that then. And then the whiskey. Yes. Honey cereal and the new rice. We don't need a whole lot today, do we? Uh, some expensive things, though. Okay, last two shelves. Uh, nothing. We have potatoes. So we need the hot chips and orange flour. Mm, chips. This one. Well, that was <laughs> that was an easy order. Yeah, I just found uh, <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of mods apparently. So, I can share the website on the Discord. People are interested. Uh, do keep in mind it's all you know made by fans it's not official it's you know use at your own risk kind of stuff <laughs> yeah aisle two is is always is always cleaning <laughs> that, that was the joke it's the cleaning aisle i mean i consider this aisle one basically though i guess you could say one and two but nah <laughs> yeah hold on i can i can share it um let me open that real quick i still had it open i think just close windows mm. i'll post the mod page oh wait i have a message uh, okay. Mark unread for later. Um, da -da -tum. supermarket sim channel. There you are. Make sure to back up your save file. There you go. Okay. Minimize. There we go. It's on the it's on the Discord. Hold on. But yeah, do make sure to back up your save file and uh, use them at your own risk. Realize that uh, if there's an update in the game, your mods might very well not work anymore. And I don't know how that would affect your save file. That's the problem, right? So generally mods don't don't change things so much that they might corrupt the save file if you remove them. But I of course can't promise that. Uh, actually we can open the store, I forgot. There, I missed. You were watching a film? Which one? I'm still watching uh, SAO Unbridged. That stuff is hilarious. Oh, 
I missed. Wait, flowers over here. I, I got switched around. There you are. There. Fixed it! Boop, boop. Hey, Muppet! Ah, full metal jacket. Uh, this one's gonna have to wait a little bit. I bought it because there was only one in that box. More Uncle Tony's. <laughs> no. This one. I haven't really dived into the mods yet. I've just been checking them out. So I just thought I'd ask in a poll how everyone thinks about them. Well, if you're using them and if you have an opinion about them, please do share. Your rice is good quality. It should be for that price. <laughs> um, Roadhouse. That, that rings a slight bell, but I probably watched it a long, long time ago. Like the old version then. Did you mention it being a new version? Let's see if we can empty this box. Right. Hold on, this <laughs> this lady has a lot to put to go on the belt still. They can walk through it, but I can't. I can't walk here. There, now it's gone. Uh, yeah, empty that box. You haven't gotten Supermarket Sim yet? That, uh, that works. Are you planning to? Oh. There, fix it. Wrong bleach. <clears throat> Yeah, it's so useless to try and help restocking when I have no idea what needs restocking. Let me see. Some apple juice, maybe? I'm just trying to save them some time. Later in the day. Because generally we need to wait on them. On the restockers. Hey, Steve. Yeah, there's also not really anything I can do like an afternoon order. Wait, are we... Uh, I say that, but... Oh no, he's bringing it back now, isn't he? Yeah. Let's see, because we're out of those chips, I think. Uh, wrong aisle. Someone else pick up that box there? No. 
Someone grab the potatoes, please. Thank you. Potatoes. Butter. Need to watch the clock though. Um. Oh yeah, I moved it. Right, where do we have the butter now? Up there. No, more than enough butter. Uh, some mashed potatoes, because we only have one of that. Really? All the pasta is empty? Oh, <laughs> it fell off the stairs. Well, no one's restocking it right now. Yeah. All the pasta except the new one. Mm, the rest can wait till morning. Uh, if you run a register and have... I don't understand why people would go back to having two registers. Look how busy it is. They're all, except for that one right now, they're all working. Generally, there's in the evening, there's still a line going. I guess if you do it yourself, you're faster. But uh, my hands thank me for not running the register anymore. At least not too often. <laughs> that uh, even now we can type it. It's still very mouse heavy. I like being able to uh, pay more attention to chats. Just to keep an eye on the store. Like this, uh, do an, an early order for tomorrow, really. Uh, this should be potato, too. Yes. Got more pasta. Right, let me see if I can empty this box. What a bet no one bought any mashed potatoes today. Ah, no, we bought, we sold two or three. There we go. Uh, but it doesn't really save that much money. Do we pay electricity for the registers? Because I don't think we actually pay for the workers still. I haven't seen any updates that changes that. I don't remember that, Pete. I have had three registers at least for a very long time. Between three and four, there wasn't much change. With two, I think there was. Uh, but yeah, the ending time in the evening does depend on on the restockers now. Really? Well, not really. They continue in the morning, but I do need to wait for them to finish. So they'll, no, no, it doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, we're low on milk, I see. But I don't... Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I don't think we actually pay them wages. So money-wise, it doesn't matter. Because I already paid the hiring costs. The only thing it might save is maybe electricity. But I pay like, what, 250 a day? 250? It's not that much. One, two registers. It's, it's not gonna save me enough money to, for me to care. I don't even know if they use electricity. Could be. Oh, 
Really? Um, I realize there's a second box there. Hold on, you stick over there. No, god damn it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> there you go. I wanted one box empty. This works too. There you go. It not that it really matters, but oh yeah. Move that. All right, what else uh, is running low? Let's see if we can empty out this bleach here. Yes, we can. No, they, they're... Hold on, they're stuck in the floor. See, we removed their feet, and now they're just stuck there, and they can't leave. It's a... <laughs> that's how it goes. Uh, no, this is all full. I do wish they'd uh, yeah, yeah. they'd grab the open boxes instead of just leaving a couple of boxes with one item in there. Hold on. Can I put you on the floor? Yes, I can. So if I take this one. Alright, someone grab that last box, please. Because I don't think... Oh, no, I can put it down. I can do it. Sometimes I can't put the box on the floor. There you go. That allows me to restock completely. Okay, well, we're going to need bleach and we're going to need a lot of toilet paper. So let's throw that in our order while they're still working two of that and then one two three four that means that order is full uh, let's just end the day they can continue in the morning ah, not, not bad not bad this is this is a really high income though how did that happen but yeah, watch. We're at 23,108 and we're going to pay our employees right now. See, we pay. I, I paused it so we can look at it. Paid staff automatically, $320. We're still at 23,108. We, did, we didn't pay them at all. Okay, money changes. Of course, the bleach. The one has <laughs> bleach and pasta. Delicious. Uh, which one is that? Is that this one? Yes. Um, no, that's below five, so that's going on twenty cents. So that's four ninety. Pasta. <laughs> wow, malfunction there for a moment. Um, I shouldn't have remembered it as pasta. I don't remember which one it was. But actually, is it this one then? Yeah. Because that's the only one that's really called pasta. The others are like spaghetti and elbows. And thirty. Uh, that works. Okay. Uh, they're still restocking, which makes it really hard to put orders in because sometimes you might want to order something and then realize that. They're carrying some boxes around in the store. Hey, Amber. Like the robots in the Chuck E. Cheese restaurant. Oh, uh, what was the that horror game called away uh, again? Uh, Friday nights at Freddy's or? So something like that. I'm reminded of that. Where the road. Oh, there was one game. Oh, this is the bleach. I couldn't tell. 
I played it a long time ago, but it unfortunately it stuttered a bit at the time, so I never came back to it. It wasn't well optimized. Um, but you need to you you run a fast food place on your own. It was pretty cool. I don't remember the name. So you're you're making hamburgers. You you're just playing like a restaurant game where you're making hamburgers, pouring drinks. You know, you need to do it as quickly as possible. However, the mascot comes to life and every night you you need to survive that. It goes it comes after you and it's it's very creepy. <laughs> also very funny because it's like this horrifying cow. Five nights at Freddy's, that's it. Yeah, it's going well. We're just uh, just making money. They're still walking. Okay, it looks like we're out of cleaning spray. Yes, no one's stocking that. Let's look good. Uh, the freezer is always easy to check. I don't think anyone's working on that right now. So empty shelves. Yes, the fries. Chicken's looking good. Just fries then. Okay, fridge. Anything needs... Desperate need to restock. Do we have big sushi? No. Sushi. Do I need more than two boxes? Let me see here. No. There you go. Uh, we need some of the new beer, however. That's this one. Well, I call it new beer. It's just the latest one we unlocked. Uh, soda wise, yeah, the black goo. I always forget what. Is it actually called something with black? No. What is the actual name? Well, soda, but it's Kujima. I always forget that one. No, that's only one. That's fine. Uh, continue on. Veal. Yeah, veal, hummus, and mozzarella. And that's it for the fridge. There you go. <laughs> I do so dislike when there's only one or two on the shelf. Uh, let me see. I think they call that clotted cream. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't just call it creme fraiche. Maybe clotted cream is more well known among the people from English speaking countries. Hey, Rofa. The, the funny thing about this, I, I know it's Indonesian and kak, I think it means sis. So it's it's a friendly greeting, but in Dutch, it means something completely different. <laughs> I'll not take it literally. <laughs> but yeah. It, it means poop. <laughs> so... <laughs> But yeah, I don't think he speaks English. He's saying he liked my videos. I did. <laughs> I 
Yeah, do try and keep it in English, Rofa, so we can all understand. Let me see, what do we need? Medium coffee and dark coffee. All the coffee. <gasps> I forgot coffee. I forgot to make myself a cup of coffee. I can't believe I don't realize that until now. I always make myself a cup of coffee before I start the stream. I was too busy talking to people. Jewel, it's all your fault. <laughs> I'm kidding. It, it was an interesting subject because YouTube, for those of you who are, are in any way in the business, which is surprisingly a lot of people in my chat generally, um, YouTube has added a new section. Uh, I also posted it on my Discord in the, the streamer goodie section. But YouTube has a new section in your where you set up your stream or video. That whether you're using alterated, altered, uh, altered video, and basically they're looking for pe uh, people who change like existing footage, um, you, mostly using AI. So, you know, you can make a video of I don't know the an important person saying something when that didn't really happen, things like that. Did I order chocolate? No. You know, uh, what's that called again? Where you basically use someone's face and use AI to make them talk? And then ma use AI to, you know, put in a f in their voice something they never said, things like that. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous stuff. Deep fake, thank you. That was the word I was looking for. Yeah, they're really going after it. Also, fan accounts. And I saw that on on twitch uh no not twitch twitter a x <laughs> as they call it these days no nima in english you write it with a v and i don't know why it's the red one it's vodka not vodka the beer Blue one. You hate coffee? Ah, I, I do like, yeah, I, I do put some cream and something like sweetener in there. Then I like it. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm, I am going to have to grab myself another drink soon, but that you know, in a few minutes. I was done streaming yesterday and I realized I'm, I'm no I'm not missing anything here I moved the pasta down that was it. I I honestly realized that in the two streams I did yesterday I had one glass of drink and two coffee but you know coffee's not the greatest for hydra uh, hydration 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 there you go a uh, mayo and yellow oil don't worry I had a big pot of tea afterwards but Oh, I should hold on. Uh, I forgot to uh, throw everything in the shelves while ordering the rest. Yeah, this is a bit much. I like to cut it in two. Do like the cleaning stuff, the freezer, and the fridge. Then put everything in the shelves and then continue ordering. But I was just talking. Oh, yeah, that, that explains... Okay, Kiwi, I haven't read that yet. That does explain the section... Uh, Ju and I were talking about it earlier, about that new addition to your your video and stream settings, basically. That, indeed, it does... It does include music. So I'm guessing it's about altering existing music and, like, pretending it's your own. Um, I think that's a specific state, Muppet. I have read something about that. That they're indeed going to be deleting all social media from everyone under the 14. If I'm, yeah, it could be 14. And we're going, it's kind of, it's a bit of a toddler society at that point, isn't it? Like, 
on the other hand, it, it is a problem for a lot of children to be on social media that young, especially with bullying, um, weird videos. I mean, the internet's not a safe space to be on. If you're very young, that could be bad, but, you know, parents are supposed to do that. But yeah. When will I get a new license? Well, not for a bit yet. Because I need to be level 70. Hold on, cat interruption. Hello, Freya. Yeah, yeah, Osaka isn't here today. He's out partying with his colleagues. So she has a shortage of attention. Come here. Up, park the butt so I can see. Tail in. There we go. No, no, park, park it. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, smack a floof. No. <laughs> yeah, how dare we have fun without me? No, it's, it's, it's a company outing. He's having a good time. Pictures on the Discord. It's, the food looks good, though. It was certainly better than uh, my toast with egg. <laughs> I made myself a quick snack. <laughs> uh, so as I was saying, the license is going to be a while because I need to be level 70. And I want at least one, but preferably two areas of the store unlocked as well. So what the plan is going to be, the next license I'm going to unlock is books. And the plan is to move this fridge section backwards that also gives us more space for more fridges eventually uh, a freezer sorry a uh, fridges too but freezers i meant and then this so th these two are probably going to be moving backwards as well along with the rest of the fridges we'll see how it fits and then this is going to be like a book corner oh yeah i'm not done yet oh yeah i did miss that one thanks um but that's going to be the plan in the future. Hold on. No, stop talking in my music. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry. And it's not my playlist, so it's not like I can remove it from the playlist. What's this? This is hummus. I just need to skip that song. Um, who do you fr Oh, where am I from? I'm from the Netherlands. Well, I do think parents should have control, but what they were talking about is that uh, by law, no child uh, under a certain age is allowed to be on social media at all, whether parents give permission or not. Mm, yeah. yeah. I think that's a, a, a thing for a very long debate and not maybe something to discuss here. How do I have so much money? Uh, working very hard for a lot of days <laughs> and not spending it on upgrades because I can't afford anything. So what I did is I upped the prices per, you know, per price range in the market prices. Does that make sense? Oh, hold on, my Twitch chat is overlapping. There you go. Hey, oh, there you are, Muppet. I see you now. How much young price rate? Do you, are, are you asking how high I'm, uh, how much I'm above the market price? Like that kind of price rating? I'm afraid the question is very clear. Uh, it's called grinding. Yeah, that, that is true. It is a bit grindy at this point. Thank goodness you guys are here and we can just yap on and have fun. And, and, and if I go screaming mad, I can always give myself money. It, it, it is tempting at this point to give myself money and just do what I want. Uh, but that's not how the, the game is supposed to be played, of course. Though I haven't. 
cheese. Um, were we done ordering? No, right? Because I ordered the oil. And then we need blue and orange flower again. Actually, I think we need all the flower. Oh, Osaka's home. All the cats just got up. <laughs> that means he put his key in the door. <laughs> You heterosexual? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, that, that's just a little joke we have with the cats sometimes. You know, when they prefer him over me or the other way around. Um, is there anything to fill up this order? Not really, right? Actually, uh, I don't know. Add a candy and a cake. That's, that'll do it. Okay, now that everything is ordered, let's open the store. And we can continue with this. I think this is beer, yes. I was talking to the cat, it was a joke. Let me make clear that, I shouldn't have said that. Um, yes, Terra Bibble, that's what I hear too. So I am really working towards those books. That's supposedly one of the best profits in the game. You have flu full arms, exactly. Uh, M Missy don't care. Missy already down again. But Freya's waiting for him at the door. She'll probably complain that her food was late. That she didn't get enough attention. <laughs> uh oh. Hey Joey, I'm good, thank you. Um. You had a floof that would wait outside on the wall for you to come home. Yeah, mine will generally greet me when I get up. And then, uh, if, if we're like away for a long time, they'll definitely be waiting. Long time, of course, being more than a day or, or, or a whole day. Cause they're not, you know, I'm home a lot because I work from home, of course, duh. Um, <laughs> so they're not used to both of us being away. Uh. Oop, some coffee. Mayo. Oh, itchy. I'm not sure how... Yeah. We don't have a lot of people over. We, we're more like going out. Oh. Um, I'm gonna just grab myself a drink. I'll... Uh... Actually, I, let me let me put this in the shelf. And then I'll grab myself a drink. I lied. Hold on. Because then they can restock and the game can just run without problem. It's just 10 items after all. <laughs> ooh, cake. The, ooh, piece of candy. Yeah. So yeah, the books are good profit. So we're almost level 64. We need level... Oh, I ordered the wrong flower. No, I didn't. I ordered all the flowers. I just had one of these. Uh, so yeah, the books uh, level 70 we'll need for that. That's going to be a while, unfortunately. Okay, hold up. You go over here. Oh, this is the orange one. That means that you're the other red one, and this is the blue flower. I always say it out loud because the, especially the small picture, the orange flower and the red flower, they look a lot alike. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab myself a drink.
and then everyone was standing there in the dark. <laughs> Let me turn on the lights. There you go. <laughs> All the Freyas. I, I do really, really like that Cookie Nima. Uh, Rose made that. I forgot the goats. How could you? Rose made that one too. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have more of this beer? <laughs> oh dear, goat battle. Oh, a lost box. I'll be, hold on. Just there, putting my feet up. Um, <coughs> there was the candy. Hold on. There's, there's only one piece of candy in here. A bag of candy, I should say. There you go. on the milk because the milk is something that can no we're good sometimes you sell a lot of it and then there's only six in the box I'll, I'll check before ordering if we need to order like more than two boxes Oh dear. I can't get past. Hold on. There you go. Like whatever doesn't fit on the belt goes behind the belt and sometimes that can really block you. Huh. That was exactly the box. Thanks everyone for the 70 likes already. That was quick. Let's do a freezer check. Well, the freezer is generally easily stocked. Empty this one first. What is it for you? She's sitting next to me looking at me like, can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, she can. Come on. There. Yeah, you fit yourself between the mic, the keyboard, and the mouse. There's, there's, there's kitty space. Oh, come here. <laughs> come here. That's typical of Freya because, you know, when I'm working, she's not always welcome to, you know, lay in the way. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Um, but when I'm actually streaming, it doesn't matter that much, right? It's, she, she can't really get in the way. But she'll sit next to me and stare at me waiting to see if, if she can come. Okay, we can actually empty these two boxes. Don't don't go on the keyboard, darling. There. Okay. Sorry, I had to park my cat. <laughs> oh no, Muppy lost all M Muppy, sorry. Muppet lost all his sheepies. <laughs> Chin scratches, head scratches, butt scratches. You good? Not really. Okay.
Oh, of course that one is full. Okay, we can put some of the blue one in there. What? Oh, I know what you want. Come here. Hey. Okay. Let's see, can you guys still hear me? Cat is now between Mike and, and me. <laughs> Let's see if you guys can catch the purring. <laughs> no, she, she wants to lie on top of me, that's why she's being difficult. I'll give her a bit of attention and then focus uh, while focusing on the stream. Let me put that up. You good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, here come the claws. <laughs> you rolled a one. Oh dear. Five free suckers, well, including myself, yes. Because they take a pretty long time, however. They actually know what needs restocking, and I don't. That's the downside. I am gonna. No, not two. One is enough. Okay. You good? Yes. Okay, let me get the mic back. There we go. That should be better. Yeah, easier to just give in to the cuddles and then, uh, uh to, to give her what she wants. <laughs> oh, no, you're not out yet. Sorry. The, everything is a bit tight here, so sometimes you bump into everything. Boop, boop. Hello. Oh, of course, that's... I took that one out to, to grab the emptier box to empty that one. Uh, the next expansion is 24,500. But keep in mind... I do need money to restock everything, plus that amount. Okay, we're low on some cheese. Wait, we're actually out of butter? Oh, I guess we are. Wait, you guys done? Oh, they are. That's handy, then we can go right into ordering. Why do I feel like my income went up? Well, no, actually my profit is not that good. Yesterday I made 6,000 something. That's why it was so much higher. Yeah, it could be a fluke. Um, cola, orange juice, and veggie mix. Okay, so cola and orange juice. Cola and orange juice. It was this cola. And orange juice. Two seventy. There you go. Hold on, I got a cat hair on my glasses. That's better. 
uh, 30,000. Yeah. But 28,000 is, is a minimum. Yeah. Uh, let me see what we were doing the freezer okay we need chocolate ice cream and crab combine these two boxes here there you go okay so what did i say that's the the chocolate ice cream oh two is enough thank you Two chickens and two crab. Yeah, that should do. Darling, don't don't claw into my mouse mat, thank you. I need the red beer and salmon. The lager, that's it. Oh, that's that order full. Milk and eggs. Small, medium. Milk. Cola. Those are the scallops. Scallops, ham, and butter. Yeah, the cheese is the last bit. Uh, Gruyere and Mimolette. Yes, that's it. I should just search for cheese. That's always easier. Um, I'll order the Comte as well. to sneeze there all right muppets <clears throat> sorry <laughs> thanks for dropping by see you next time cut the cheese what I think I'm missing a joke. <laughs> Max got up from the blanket, so now Freya can... Uh can join it. <laughs> uh, oh, let me just get rid of these big boxes of chicken. A beer factory. Well, the thing was that the developer released an update a while back 
quite a while back actually and he immediately retracted it because it, would, it caused problems but I haven't heard anything since so really I've just been waiting on set update to be fixed and released I think this is butter yes So the problem with Beer Factory was a bit that while it was certainly still fun, I was simply doing the same thing over and over again, right? It was order goods, make beer, sell beer, or, or uh, bottle it, sell it, and rinse and repeat. So I was hoping to get a nice update, maybe change that around a little bit. I think this is... Yeah, that's the same thing. I couldn't really tell. What? <laughs> oh, is it now... It's, it's now max time. Why didn't you guys come before the stream? I guess they were napping after dinner before the stream. <laughs> there are places they take two slices out of every bread to make up well how do you get the ends then is that that doesn't really work does it No, not, now all three of them are on the blanket. <laughs> Freya not happy. <laughs> Missy and Max don't have a sense of uh, personal space. Uh, Freya is not a fan. M Missy is a hoot too because she'll... She wants attention but she doesn't like to be picked up or anything. But she'll come to me and then stand in front of me sideways and just drop herself on her side against me like okay yeah that's fine but i have to pay attention because she will drop herself so if i'm a little bit away from the desk she will fall <laughs> it's happened before actually that she just during a stream just rolled off the desk next to me <laughs> and she was rolling around and just whoop there she went <laughs> over the edge Oh uh oh. At least when she does it with me, I could still catch her in my lap. Cats are weird. Um Yeah, no, because those are the pops and that's the strawberry. Okay. Just making sure I'm not accidentally doubling up on one of the ice creams. Salmon. And this must be butter. Okay. The, that's the fridge. So we're at the shelf. Oh, I haven't ordered the cleaning stuff yet. Usually I do that first. No, it, I thought it said a number above zero, though. That's not correct. And the cleaner. We need tablets and spray. Uh, shampoo and dishwash. Now we always already filled that up. Invincible. 
I thought we were out of milk. I guess not. We need sugar. Cake, peanut butter. And a bread, but is it big or small? Small. Okay, the new vodka. Right to blue. No, I turned that, I switched that around. Hold on. I'm, I'm mixing this up. It's one blue and two yellow. We need potatoes. I'm in an uneven amount, which is annoying. Oh, add a wine. Why not? We don't need potatoes. There. All right, what we got here? Tony's rice. Oh yeah, that was the only one we didn't. Oh, I didn't mean to click it. Hold on. That's the penny. Uh, yeah, that's it then. Yeah, I do hope we're gonna make some more profit uh, soon. I'm not sure which steps we get more customers, but that would help a lot too. <laughs> Licked it no less. Here's the big box, so we'll move it up one. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. It's a really good thing that I've learned to recognize the top of most products because sometimes the missing label doesn't help, does it? Oh! Oh dear, I ordered the wrong one. I needed to... Uh, I needed the boom. Not a huge problem. I mean, the other one will eventually just sell, but we'll have one box left over. 
mixed up the two dishwasher tablets. It happens. Add some peanut butter. Hey, Clanahan. Customers stay the same? I No, I think they still go up, though, if you buy more space. At least from what I saw from other people. Uh, but they certainly didn't start buying more products when I upgraded to <clears throat> that part of the store. Because <laughs> we never went up in profit. The opposite, even. Maybe that's broken? Maybe they should have? I don't know. Right, here's the boom. The boom! And the last rice. Making sure that one partial box is gone. The checkout guys can't keep up. What? Are you saying people buy less items if they go to uh, a, a register? Man by cashier? That makes no sense. I mean, they're slower, but they can still just ring everyone up. Hey, people. <laughs> what? I'm not playing uh, Taylor Swift or anything, if you mean that. I wouldn't be able to without being ha heavily demonetized. the tuna it's a bit late for an afternoon order let's at least check some things that have run out the big sushi for example uh, she, yeah the song does indeed sound like her you're right Apple juice is gone too. I'm just preparing an order of things I know that are out just to save me some time in the morning. That's lasagna. Okay, no one's restocking that. The problem being, of course, that 
Oh, we're actually out of potatoes. I can't... It, it was completely full just now. Hmm? It's okay, it's right here. That's not out yet. Um, freezer? Oh yeah, the mixed veggies. Okay, well that's an expensive order right there, but it's gonna have to wait till morning. How are we doing over here? No, we still got customers going. No, that's lasagna. That's not moussaka. The dark purple is the lasagna. The light purple is the moussaka. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that. That you can't, you can't click on it in the storage. You can only click on it here. See? And this is the moussaka. But I already ordered it, so it's fine. Granddaughter wanted to see her in concert. Yeah, that's, I'm sure that's very expensive. <laughs> mm. Edge, the, a lot of products look so similar. Um, here, I mean, it, it, they look very... This, the picture is nearly the same. It's just that this one's dark purple. This one's light purple. The X just, ch you know, only different size. The beef and steak. If you look from this angle, you see a little bit of white on the steak. That's the difference. A lot of items look the same. And it's really hard sometimes to keep them apart. Uh, especially the waters on the tiny label in the storage. The, the water is really hard to keep apart. But while ordering. Okay, that's, we're good. It's just... It's just not enough... Profits... <laughs> had to go a lot further in this game. Let me see. Already? Well, let's order this. Since we know those items were all out. Hey, Mitchell. We're almost up to a hundred likes. Just 13 more. Thanks, everyone. Huh. Looks like the other sushi ran out too. Well, can order that after this. Yeah, the, the game starts out great and then becomes too grindy. Um, yeah, that's right. We accidentally ordered the boom. So now, oh, uh, sorry, accidentally ordered the clean dish instead of the boom. So now I have a lot of that. There's only two in this box. We could get that on there. But we can't, so we just have to wait. Uh, let me see. Get these two. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> How are we doing, guys? Okay, I think we can safely order the freezer stuff if we need any, actually. We don't. <laughs> well, that was easy. How about the fridge? Anyone restocking the fridge section? No. Alrighty then. Um, I swear, that, that moment I said that, they all grabbed the box to restock the fridge section. <laughs> well, I know we needed the small sushi at least. The problem is, if I don't know which boxes they grab, I don't know which shelves are actually empty. But it looks like none of them are there. Let me check real quick if we can't. Yeah, there you go. I like to split up the ordering of the meat and the pre-made meals and such a little bit. Because otherwise you have a day that you spend a lot of money on ordering stuff. It doesn't really matter in the end, of course. You need to order it all anyway. Okay, well, that wasn't much anymore since we already got most of it done. Uh, this is Supermarket Simulator. It's in the title too. Ah, let's see. Okay, we need bleach and cleaner. Do we need more boom? Kaboom! Whenever I say that name, I always think of Team Fortress 2. Okay, three green, one purple. And that's exactly this order. I'll grab it right away. These are some big boxes. Let's just toss it on. Makes these. Oh, well, not if I hit the edge there. There you go. Of course, I can. There you go. Sushi. This is the other beef. Alright, Mitchell, see you later. Alright. So far, we haven't uh, had to order a whole lot. Oh, yeah, let me check the milk. No, two boxes is enough. sugar and the new sugar right yes oh let me quick oh music stop let me quickly check if i can uh, put this in the shelf it's only one nope mm. 
Wrong aisle. There you go. That's full. Alright, blue rice. It's always annoying when you can't get rid of one item in a box. Oh, well, that can wait then. Uh, we need all the pasta except for the penny. And then potatoes. We're out of potatoes. Do we need more than three bags to fill up storage? No, there's only one missing. what they're working on right now anyone heard anything it's so hard to keep track of anything in the discord because it's so busy at least it was i don't know how it's been uh, last week Now, the thing is that the developer sometimes hops into the chat and just talks to people about what he's doing, but he doesn't make any official announcement. So if you don't happen to be there, it's easy to miss. Hey, Christian. Just bug fixes and improvements. Hmm. I thought considering the time he'd be uh, working on a new update by now. But then, maybe something's not working right. <clears throat> that does make it tricky. That's milk. Rice. Well, it's more... He's not a bad dev. <laughs> I was just hoping. Especially concerning just balancing. But then maybe that's what they meant with improvements. If so, I'll be happy about it. Boop. Uh... Oh, right there. I was like, it's supposed to be here. Did I forgot to open the store? I did. I'm sorry. I completely <laughs> forgot. Usually I do that before I put all this stuff away. Oh, I need to pay my bills. Um, Sorry, I messed that up. You need to go over there. You need to go over there. And you don't belong there. I 
<laughs> sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Yes. Oh, uh oh. Maybe we need like a Freya with a dunce cap. Sitting in a corner and think about what she's done. Oh, no. Poor Freya. We have been looking into the when it rains it purrs for the Freya with the umbrella. Um, okay, well, let's just make up an order, I guess, because we still needed at least one potato. So let's see, what are we low on? Uh, the oil, salt. Cheese, and that's the this parmesan cheese. Chimkin. And we can add one more item. Do a candy. There you go. Oh yeah, bills. I just said it and then didn't do it. Sorry. There you go. Anything new with ranch sim? N not since they added the pets. I did, Edge. I did. <laughs> and that I think actually the next update is going to mostly be. Oh, I don't remember. It's either going to be the horses or the basically the some improvements and fixes, but I don't remember. Probably the horses. Horse breeding. You know, things we should have had a couple of years ago and all that, you know. I do really wonder if it was worth it to go up to Unreal 5 instead of just staying at Unreal 4. Because it cost them a lot of effort, but it also cost them a lot of their momentum. Right, the game was super popular. People were waiting on all kinds of updates, and then they were quiet for... It was a half a year? No longer, I think. And honestly, the pets and dogs, I mean, it's a nice addition, but uh, that's, you know, that's what happens when you update an early access game. And you add some, some things that sound great, but in the end are just a small mid game, early game addition to the game. You love to think how all the food in the store has been tossed down the stairs. Yes, absolutely. It's a hobby. Oh. oh, hold on, that's blocking the door a bit. That should do. Next. I love how I go, uh, go down when I bop in. <laughs> my, food, my feet sink into the floor too. Why do what, Baker Boy? Disco. 
You think checking out is the best part of the, of the video? Yeah. Because generally it gets a bit painful to have to click 200 times to check people out. Also, it allows me to make the day go faster because I'm restocking while the day is going. Right, you can use the type thing again. At this point in the game, the restockers need more help uh, time-wise than the checkout. Also, no one shows up. <laughs> uh, sorry, Anne, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. I feel like I'm sitting on one of those little turning stools, you know? <laughs> Either that I, or I'm an owl and I can just turn my head. I feel like at for this point in the game people are buying too little. I could be wrong, but I thought at a certain point they... Oh, they found something too expensive there. Um, I was... Uh, it was clear that, you know, I was running the, the register more often. And people were buying more and more with each step. And then suddenly it went down. And I don't know what... What happened there, whether it's... Or whether it's even true. It just feels that way. Let's see, seventy-four forty. Oh. Hey Sims. Yeah. Six more life. Sorry, five more life. Still the hundred. Just a couple more. But yeah, I could do the register a bit more often. It's just. Uh, yeah, not running around so much. Also, the, yeah, that's the last customer. I am gonna bop it away because in the morning I uh, restock storage. Let's see. Mixing up aisles constantly. <laughs> it's like, oh, em empty space, and then put it there. Um, what was there, though? Is that the mozzarella, or is that... No, it's the parmesan. Make sure we put that in order, then. Anyone restocking the freezer? No. And can I search for beans? Yes. Hey, Robert. The Donald Duck mod? <laughs> but I don't have any pants on in this game. I don't need it. See? No pants. I mean, no legs either, but no pants.
<laughs> and let's see. Can fit two potatoes there. Okay, no one's restocking cleaning stuff, so we definitely need bleach. Okay, the rest will have to wait till morning. Are we ready? Yes. Yogurt, flour, and cleaner. Uh, let me see which yogurt, though. This one. Oh. No, I think we can make that 30. Cleaner. Man, I should have written it down. I have too many products now to remember. Uh, these ones are called cleaner too, right? Uh, yeah, this one must be it. I don't remember what the last one was, damn it. Yogurt cleaner and... No, I don't know. Hold on. Let's sit up straight. Okay. Yeah, we'll find it. Automatically stock the shelves. Yeah, but the thing is that takes away any control you have over the money. Because then, you know, you're... Yeah, so I did the yogurt. We got the cleaning spray. <gasps> What's the last one? Hey, to the end. Yeah, locking labels in storage would be handy. Um, but there needs to be a way for you to... Yeah, I, I guess if you click on them, do they disappear? And if you put a wrong box in there that doesn't work, that would be really helpful. But that's also a preference thing, right? Damn, what was the third one? Flower. There we go. It's the orange flower. Found it. Which we're actually very low on, I see. Um, 40 cents, so that's actually 9 bucks. There you go. Yeah, we definitely need an extra box of that flower. All right, let me uh, grab this order. Just some things that I happened to see running out yesterday. But the thing is, sometimes when I buy an upgrade, I don't order as much for the storage. So if there's an automated, I guess maybe you, something you can turn on or off would work. But if there's an automated restock, that takes away any control I have over my money. It would just restock the, the storage. I do hope I, as I have said it. But yeah, you could go any which, which way with this game. Uh, the only thing I would really love to see different is one... Uh, there needs to be a way to let us make more profit than this. 1500 a day is way too little compared to how expensive the upgrades are. 
I mean, I think I do about 1800 on average each day. Oh, restock the retail floor. Yeah, but that's what they are for. So they're not going to make that instant. That's, uh, they already added that. There needs to be a, an easier way to get the boxes in here. W without mods, of course, I mean. There you go. Alrighty, let's get us some boom. Uh, no cleaning. There you go. Two purple, one green, and then one box of cleaning items. There you go. Freezer, all full, chicken, and I can't put it down, you could have just grabbed that one, yeah. An even number. Bleh. Oh. <laughs> They're all on one. Only one person works on one product, so I can quickly help him there. Okay. I'll click on it twice. There you go. Right. What about you? Yeah, same story. You would hire me as a general manager. Uh, I think that would be quite different than in real life. All right, there you go. That should do with all the cleaning and the freezer stuff. If not, I'll check it later again. Let's check the fridge. There's only one bottle in here. And of course it's completely full. Yeah, what's really missing in this game, and, and I do understand why that's not in there, is simply being able to put that one bottle on a shelf next to it or something, or just push it in the back a little. Alrighty, um, ba -bum. what else do we need? Big eggs and green soda. Soda! That's full enough. Really, no cheese at all. Oh no, I ordered already ordered parmesan. Coffee. Of course, it all fell that away. Yeah, 
getting some more big boxes. Okay, that's chicken. Okay, let's grab this first. All right, that combined uh, most of these boxes four. Because <laughs> the workers just left it. Uh, I I can't see which which one this is. We're just gonna nope wrong. I just had to guess there. No, fixed it. You guys actually look different from. Oh, um. uh, that toilet paper is just a little bit brighter, but I can only see it because it's next to each other. If you have it in your hands, there's no way to tell the difference. They get paid just to stand there. Well, they work all the well, once we open up, uh, they'll get back to work. Or when I put something in the shelf. That's out in the store. But, you know, it's not like they're actually getting paid, so... Stuff. Let's go over here. <laughs> Sims Live, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. They look like guards. They look more like they take a, a, a too long smoke break each day. That little one bottle box empty first. Or put those in. Uh, am I missing a box of eggs? Did I accidentally toss them with the coffee? That happens. I did. It's because the eggs don't register as fridge stuff for me. <laughs> but let's not get that in that discussion. Okay. Store is open. Nothing there. The red vodka. Got the whiskey. This was only one bottle. Devon, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Get two cakes. Cereal. The penne is out of sync with the other, the other pasta. Because tomorrow I'll have to order all the other pasta again, probably. At least that's how I've been the last few days. Red and orange flower. That's blue flower, Nima. Nope. This one. Okay, good. Um... I don't think I've ordered that potato yet, so let's do that. We're very low on wine as well. 
Anything else? Fill up that order a bit. Uh, I think they just... Let me see, did they... Did they just empty the milk? Hold on, is that the milk? No, then, then it is empty. Okay, so order one. Change this around. One coffee and two milk. Perfect. <laughs> Timber! Oh, there it is. It's like I'm missing a big box. Making some space. Oop. Okay, there's one box less. Now I can fit that one in. Oh. Sneezing again. And thanks everyone for over the 100 likes. That helps a lot. Best way to get found on the interwebs? Getting likes? Oh, we interrupted uh, YouTube. I'm not quite sure how Google does it. They look at views or interactions, probably. What the hell is going on? Oh, we're good now. It's like I slid forward. Ah. <laughs> There's still one. Yeah, yeah, gra grab the wine, sir. No, no, no. You want some wine. Come on. Up one bottle. Ma'am, you... No. Okay, she's standing in line. Okay, well, it's not like I can put the box down, so... No. See Huda, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. The whiskey. Boop, boop. A couple of boxes on the road. Uh, yeah, better turn on some light here. Okay, well, can we empty this whiskey box? <laughs> yes. Very good. Oh, wait. Any wine salt? None. Okay. No need to check that then. Uh, level is 64. I really need to lean forward for that. It's so small. this way you guys can go over there the wine is still waiting on its spot I'm not filling it yet because I'm waiting for that one bottle box to go away. Coffee. Mm. 
and milk. There's not a lot of customers running around anymore, but I can do a... Maybe we'll get one or something. Oh, Robert, if there's no update, I'm honestly having a little bit of trouble thinking of a title for my stream. You know, when I'm actually planning something like a space upgrade or a new license or there's an update to the game, you know, then it's easy to think of something. But what's happening today? Yeah, not, not a whole lot, is it? <laughs> it doesn't have a bathroom. Now, the joke is a little bit that aisle two is the cleaning aisle. <laughs> Though, honestly, one of the worst things you can ever spill is a bottle of bleach. Unrefrigerated chicken, Mart. We don't have unrefrigerated chicken. Oh, in the storage, that's true. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any customers at our register here. Maybe one, sir? Are you coming come over here? Nope. You lied to me. No one's coming over here. I don't know. No one came to my register. Sob. Nope. Oh. Oh. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying to make the days go as fast as possible. So that's why I'm doing more with the storage now than with the register. Yes, the register doesn't really need help, but the the restockers do. Oh, they still love me. Thank you, ma'am. One, two, three, fifty, sixty, and get out of my store. It's long after closing, people. Let's go. Okay, that's the last customer then. Are we out of apple juice? We are not. Okay, did anyone buy a bottle of wine today? Yes, they did. Perfect. Then these can go on the shelf. Have we had any any loose boxes still lying around? Yeah, the beer. Also for a single bottle in a box. I heard the sound. Yes, it disappeared. Very good. Clean dish was sorted. Go. Um. Okay, big sushi. While they're working, I'll just put in an early, uh, an early order for tomorrow morning. We're completely out of chicken. It's so weird, isn't it, how that can go up and down. Uh, the speed at which you sell it. Sometimes you sell barely two, barely four chickens, not even, you know, they'll be still full. And sometimes your whole storage is empty. Chicken, chimkin. Okay, my time is critical. Then on my rhyme is pivotal. Homie the dash is 
The problem with toilet paper is mostly that it's hard to restock yourself because they will immediately dive upon it to refill it. Oh, there was actually another spot right there. I didn't need to do this. It's okay. They'll fill it up. Okay, we do need. Oh, let me see. Toilet paper. One purple. Another question is: Can we come back? Yes. I thought there was still some one space. Oh, maybe I saw it wrong. One green. And one bleach. Add the beer and then the order is full. <laughs> Salmonella extravaganza. Yeah, th there are titles I can't use simply because YouTube might not like it, though. And I'm not specifically even talking about cursing. Okay. Twenty-four hundred. That is better. Okay, we got a blonde cake and a Tony pizza. Uh, actually, no, it's 140, so 27, 20. And then we did the Tony Pizza. Nine forty. Okay, paid my bills. Mystery meat is back on the menu. Nobody knows where we got our steak. Our field shops are suspiciously small. <laughs> Oh, you left, Kiwi. It's all your fault. No, this is not Frostpunk. We, uh, we can't hire children here. Okay, you guys done? Yes. Well, other than the sushi, probably. Alright, what do we need over here still? Nothing? Yeah, no. Shampoo. The cheddar pizza. That's it? Yes. <laughs> oh, poor Freya. Put back to work again. 
Okay, this is blue water and pink soda. Yes. Boop, boop. Uh, musica and a galette. I think that's a galette. The blue box, yes. Uh, prosciutto, but let me see if we can't. I think this is steak. There you go. What about the chicken? Also empty. Okay, so prosciutto, chicken, and steak. Okay, that's no. I let uh, wait for cheese needed. No. Easter fruit buns. Hmm. Is that something like the... I was never there. Okay, Rob. Yeah, <laughs> the Rob needs uh, help sneaking out, I think, without being noticed. Something tells me it's too late. Okay, add some sugar to that. And then the order is full. Big order too, 1200 bucks. <laughs> so here we have a custom and... It's basically the same bread for both Christmas and Easter, but it is a bread filled with, well, raisin and currants, but also often with dried fruits like orange uh, zest, dried pieces of orange, dried pieces of apple, which we call sucade. Um, there's usually an almond paste too in the middle. Is it something like that? I'm curious. Oh, the icing crust. I think it's a bit different than the German Dutch uh, thing. I'm not a big fan of the German version though, simply because with the Dutch version you get just powdered sugar in a ba in a little sacklet uh, sachet. To go with it to put on top the german one has like a sugar layer on the top of it and i'm not a big fan of that i prefer just uh, butter and a bit of sugar it's also not super sweet like the dough is not super sweet because the fruit inside is already sweet We used to make, as a child, we used to make it every year with, um, well, at the very least Christmas, but I think we might have made it for Easter as well in the past. But now I'm talking about my very early childhood. I've made it myself too, but it's a big, it's a big bread to eat on my own, so I generally don't do it anymore. Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever had Cadbury. We have real chocolate. No, I, I have no idea if Cadbury is good. Um, I've never had it. I've heard about other American chocolate brands that are for most Europeans just don't taste good at all. <laughs> Early childhood, aka 14th century. No, it's not that bad. Well, the recipe we've, we've always made is actually, I think it's from... 1982, 1984, one of those. I still have a copy of it. 
It's great. Uh, did you soak the raisins and currants in rum? I mean, that's already a great start. And uh, you need to heat it up a bit, not too hot, of course. And then you need to soak them. And then you make the dough, and after the first rice, everything goes in. And then you need to fold it in a specific way to make it a real stolen stall in Dutch. Uh, no, this is shampoo. This goes over here. Chicken! Okay, yeah, so that's the same kiwi. Yeah. We don't really have icing on top, just some powdered sugar. HLDN says, Whittaker's chocolate is the best here in New Zealand. Oh, what's the best chocolate here? I guess it really depends on your flavor. Generally, most chocolate here is pretty good, even just the, the cheaper store brands. is Because the rules are so strict that if you call something chocolate, it has to be a certain amount of actual, um, you know, cacao and a certain amount of chocolate butter, basically. Have you had a checkout for over 200? Uh, yeah, but I haven't checked out myself much, so the fact that I've seen it has been a while. But I've had it, yes. I've never had Whittakers. Either. So I don't think that's a brand I can get here. Um, I think Milka is Swish. That's one of, the, but that's if you like a softer, more gen, you know, lighter chocolate. Even the dark, what they call a dark chocolate, is it's very creamy. Like the, the whole, the whole brand is just comes in lots of flavors. It's very creamy. It's one of my favorites. I really like it. Just don't buy it in summer because if you if it melts, it just, you know, when you, when you open the packaging, it's just. Oh wait. Where the hell are you <laughs> challenging me to a do on Twitch? There you go. Oh man, he wins too, bastard. <laughs> All right, we need some bread. Um, one of my favorites that I really love, and I actually, as a child, I used to get that on holiday in Belgium, but nowadays it's uh, available in the Netherlands as well, is Codor, which I think it's a Belgian, Belgian brand. Even if it's a French name. Well, they, they mean they speak French in Belgium, of course. Um, it's extremely good chocolate. Let me see. We need orange and white rice. Uh, they also have the version filled with uh, what we call praline, uh, praline. But the praline here is a nut paste with sugar and not the crunchy, crunchy type. Just to clarify. Because names can be something different sometimes. I do think um, there was one who was, uh, one person who was making, I think they were making like a gigantic Ferrero Rocher themselves. It was an old video I watched. And he mixed that up. He made a mistake. Because he was making the praline as. I think it's known in the US and maybe England. It's nuts with caramel poured over it. Uh, that's, yeah, that's that one. So we just need that one then. And then you break it up or you chop it up and then you have a great something crunchy to put outside a cake or something to, to you know, sprinkle over your ice cream. You, you think of it, you do it. But it's not the same as praline as we know it. I love it. It's great. Because it's often put in like chocolates, fancier chocolates. We need pepper and ketchup. But it's a very smooth paste. Made from nuts. And and I think chocolate too. <laughs> Got her, yes. <laughs> Sorry, but was it pepper and ketchup? And what did I order? Because I was just looking at chat. Pepper. So we need ketchup. 
There you go. Blue and orange flower. And then we need the yellow chips and mashed potatoes. Chips. Mashed potatoes. And I've mentioned it before, but what I, I really like Tony's as well. And it's, it's Tony's Chocolonies. And they... Um... They work very hard on paying an honest price for things like cacao and all that, you know, fair trade. But I don't think they actually work with fair trade themselves. I'm not tired. Something went wrong there. They still very much stand for paying everyone honestly. But I also think they're in contact with companies who don't to try and get them to do it. And that's why fair trade did not agree with having them as a fair trade brand. But I'm not entirely sure how that went. There was there was some drama about it, let me put it that way. Just trying to, oh, here we go. Maybe we can empty the Gruyere. No, of course we can't. <laughs> I'll throw in an order. I'm just trying to fill up this order. Oh. Two is enough, thank you. I'm getting distracted. Yeah, that's true. Jurassic Park, Velociraptor, Giant Jawbreaker, Smut Juice. <laughs> My goodness. That sounds uh, dramatic. No, he's bringing it back. Uh, oh, come on then. Little poke. I'm trying to see how much toilet paper we have. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't. I have one more spot in my order and there's always something we can put in there. There you go. The bleach. Because that goes pretty fast anyway. Okay. Hey Game and Wizard. Ed, Ed and Edgar. <laughs> Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah. That was such a weird show. But then the whole set was weird. I watched that one. Uh, the, the, the whole bunch of them. Cow and Chicken. I Am Weasel. Dexter's Laboratory. Right? Wasn't that part of that set or not? No, it, it might not be actually. Oh, it was Cartoon Network. Now, Ren and Stimpy is a bit older than that. I don't think Ren and Stimpy was actually Cartoon Network. It's odd. Uh, I don't remember anymore. It's too long. They all blend together a bit of where they were from, at least. Yeah, cartoons were wild back then. I really like the 80s cartoons too, though. Because that was the time that, you know, you, you for the first time we actually got, like, um, action cartoons. Because they weren't... Uh, I, I wasn't a... It, Nickelodeon. Yeah, I knew it was different. I wasn't a big fan either. 
was probably a bit too rude for my liking. But it, uh... I, I was honestly more of a fan of the, the bit of, they were a bit longer cartoons, like the 80s cartoons. And not so much Transformers. I didn't really get that. I wasn't a car fan even back then. Um, I remember watching the X-Men cartoon for the first time. Wow, that was something new. That was amazing. You have to realize, of course, that the Dutch TV at the time was a bit behind the American TV where everything was coming from. But wow, that was... It had like this, this amazing opening song and... <laughs> That was something special at the time. That was the first cartoon that I saw that had actual fighting in it. And uh oh, well, I mean, before that, it was all quite sweet, right? Yogi Bear. I mean, there were there were like, of course, there were jokes in there that were, were good. Not too bland. But there was no... No... Uh, no real action. The Flintstones. The Jetsons. You know, those were a bit older. All about families. And sure, they were, they were good cartoons, but they were, this was something different. And then, of course, we got all the other 80s cartoons. Some better than others. Chalk Zone. That sounds very familiar, but I don't think I've ever watched it. Maybe I saw the opening ones. Trans G.I. Joe. Gem and the Holograms. Rainbow Bright wasn't really a thing here. I, I know, I've heard of it, but... Uh, but we got the range of cartoons that were very much made to sell toys. So the Transformers was, yeah, that was to sell toys, right? Or Captain Planet, but I think them were already a bit later. I think Captain Planet was start of the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Mask. I loved Mask. Don't ask me why, because it's, it's probably the opening. Which flower is this? Is this? Yeah, that's that one. Mask Crusaders. Uh, it, the, the opening songs were always a bit weird, right? But it was um, fighting crime, doing overtime, something like that. It was always a bit odd, like really badly written. But the beat was good, so hey, didn't know any better as a kid. Um, one of my favorites was Jason the Wheeled Warriors. One of the very few that had a girl in it. Of course, Inspector Gadget had a girl in it, Penny, and th that was nice, but I wasn't a real big fan of Inspector Gadget. I just found him annoying. He, he was supposed to be this big detective, but uh, all he did was dumb stuff. Fraggle Rock, yeah. Oh god, I love the Fraggle song. The Muppets were great, too. Do you think they will expand the storage room? I have no idea. Pirates of Dark Water, yes, that one was so good. Of course, they cancelled it after one season. It was less. That wasn't very good. But Jason the Wheeled Warriors has one of the best uh, cartoon openings ever made. Jeez, what else? Um, there was the Bionic Family, I think, was what. Um, um, what's it called? What, what, the one with the cats. Well, there's multiple with the cats. You have the SWAT cats, but I'm talking about the older one. Samurai Pizza Cats. Jeez, there's a lot of cartoons with cats. Biker Mice, the Thundercats, yes. And then later we got the Biker Mice from Mars. Oh man, I love that one. 
Not not the newer version. They just look wrong. But that's because I grew up with the older version. Wow, is this is that working out for you, buddy? That's always funny when they walk with the gigantic boxes. Hong Kong phony. No, that's not one I know. Um, the the Jackie Chan cartoon. One more thing. <laughs> Gumo Guido Guay, my I don't even know where it went, but that was funny too. Gumo Guido Guay, the Sao Gumo did something like that. He had this chant. It was great. Nope, doesn't ring either. I think you had very different cartoons than I did. Now, let me see. This is hot sauce. Ah, no. Moderation doesn't fit. of gold that that rings a bell and, um because there's there's more good cartoons that are a little bit more out there um oh god what um there was one cartoon based on the old greek epos what's it called it was recently turned into a musical by a guy um the Odyssey. Uh, there was a cartoon about, well, taking place in space based on the Odyssey. Oh, that one was pretty good. There's also a French cartoon. Well, there's multiple French cartoons. You had one where they went into the, the body, like the, the cells were people and all that. Uh, but there was also one, uh, the land of the, no. I had, it was, I had a very weird opening song. I'll have to look it up. Hold on. Because I don't remember. It was a very weird cartoon. Let me see. It was, I know it was French. Oh, that's for adults, no. I think it was Adventure. Yeah, that, I think that's a bit of a too long list. Uh, so I'm really looking for something older than this. I'll, uh, I'll try and find it later. It's fine. Ulysses. Yes, that was it. That one was very... Uh... No, no, no. It's, it wasn't really a, it was a small children's cartoon. It was basically a bunch of people who lived underground. Uh, but something's going wrong. They have a sun underground, I think. And something was going wrong with the sun. So two children run away and they go onto the land above um, to find help and the, the, I think they they run into this very special lady and I don't remember if she was an alien or a robot and then one guy is gonna help her and the standard team uh, set up basically but the intro was so weird <laughs> like unlike we've we'd seen before because of course it was French um, let me see. We need Parmesan and Mimolette. I think. Meantime, we'll do some ordering. No one's refilling the cheese? No. Chicken? K 
Care Bears. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the first animes I saw, which I didn't know it was an anime, was uh, Candy Candy. Uh, to the point it's so old, it actually had an intro in Dutch here. Which doesn't really happen because we we don't tend to translate things so it's become more and more common to dub cartoons and i'm not sure it's a good thing we need one green and four purple but i don't think no that's gonna, not gonna fit we do need one of that bleach again um oh then add the green one uh, to it there order ready we're good to go? Yes. Only one complaint today. Only a thousand profit. Yeah, I did order expensive stuff yesterday. Yes, Spartacus and the Sun Underground. That's it. Well Googled, I think. Turbo Team, that does sound very weird. Uh, we also had uh, a cartoon here that uh, it was called War Planets and it was uh, of course, CGI started to make its rise, and one of the first of that was another one that was um, Reboot. That one was good. <laughs> reboot was good. But then, of course, CGI took off, and but it was, I mean, it looked horrible compared to now, right? It looks bad. So they, um, they made a, a War Planets, I think it was called. And basically it was that... Um, there were a couple of planets very close together uh, inhabited by people who basically represented the different so there was um, what do you call them uh, the, one was like fire the, the fire people you had the earth people water and air you know things like that or something like that I don't quite remember it's a long time ago and uh, they were under attack by something like the darkness was coming and they all made gigantic engines. They had to work together. They were forced to work together, of course. That was the big thing, right? Because they've always been in war, and now they had to work together to escape. And they made these gigantic engines, and they moved the whole planet. So they all went on a tour, taking their whole planet with them. In hindsight, that kind of cartoons was just ridiculous, but it was so funny. Yeah, the, I li um, Dragon Ball C is really my first intro in... Well, actually, no. Alfred Chidoku's Quack was an anime. It was made in Japan, even if it was voiced by Dutch people. That was my first one. Well, along with Candy Candy, but I didn't know that one was an anime. I've seen Dragon Ball Z. I liked it at the start, and then like one one battle took three weeks to watch. And, yeah, it got a little less. <laughs> Showing my youth. Yeah. Wait, did I not order it? Or did I already put it away? I'm. I think I'm a bit more tired than I think. <laughs> I'm losing track of things. Uh. Yeah, the freeze up battle that took three weeks because you, you had on the weekdays you had one episode uh, per yeah per weekday so. Uh, something to even this out. Buy an extra chicken, why not? Anything else for the freezer? Nope. Okay, we need the two beers.
Nope, all good. Cheese. Now we just refilled that, so nothing there. I do need to pay my bills because I forget sometimes. Do, did I do the price changing today? Boy. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> it's 1 a.m. It's probably a good thing I didn't plan in the second stream. Jesus, I'm, I honestly can't remember myself doing these things. Okay, let's get some coffee. Let's focus a bit more here. It's because I'm just yapping about other stuff. Okay, which coffee? I need to say it out loud, otherwise I forget. Medium and dark. FBI, open up! Yeah, that. Thank you. Yeah, milk. Get that and then the sugar. I do need to check up on the milk, because... How's the coffee, by the way? Oh. Yeah, that one is very empty. That needs an extra box. This one is good. Medium roast. Give some more uh, extra. Okay, sugar. Uh, powdered, brown, and normal. And the normal. I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh, really. I, yeah, I like the first part of Bleach. And then they started introducing, like, a whole classroom of people in one episode. Or at least a couple of episodes. And yeah, I lost interest. Especially when it became clear that the, the the Society of the Dead was basically nothing more than a bunch of people who wanted to fight with swords. Um, <laughs> it lost my interest. Two kegs. But there's a lot of anime out there that is just better. I mean, if you don't want to watch a long series, there's amazing movies as well. Um, Akira, of course. That one is more towards horror, though. It, it's, it's a, it has body horror in it, just a warning. Um, oh, God, what's it called? Movie so simple, you need to watch it five times. Um, it was recently made into a live action movie, but. I've never seen the, the live-action movie. With the Black Widow. Elven Lead is a silly one. Yeah, that's a good start. No, it's not. It's not a good starter anime. Oh my god, Edgar. Um... It's because I'm also focusing on this that I, I can't think of the name. Um, it's it's an older movie. It was remade into live action recently. It had a part two. It has some of the best move music ever made. No, I'm talking about an anime. Um, salt. I'll think of it in just a bit. Ghost in the Shell. See? Told you. I've never watched the series, a standalone complex, but I have watched the movie a few times. Part 2 is also very good. And there, of course, the, you have the if you want something a bit more relaxing and less action, but still good, you have, you have the whole uh, Ghibli series. Ghibli? Ghibli? One of those names.
but just something to fill up this order. Uh, give me some uh, tuna and some sushi because that generally goes fast too. Okay. There you go. I've never watched um, Avatar The Last Airbender. It either didn't air at a good time for me. That could be it. Maybe something else for sure. I don't know. I missed that one completely. Maybe I was already a little bit too old for to watch cartoons then. When did it come out? Well, yeah, I've heard a lot about it. I've watched the movie. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Never too old for cartoons, no, but I, I just meant more that I was busy with other things. Life action, and I've had not heard many good things about that, Eric. But then I guess the fans are really just not waiting on it either, either way. Um, we were done ordering, right? Let's open the store. The thing with the movie was that they tried to do too much in a very short time. The effects were the effects were good. It looked good. That was the most horrible part. The thing was that the the child actors probably didn't have the. I mean, they were picked for a reason, right? They must have been able to act, but they haven't had the. I, I blame the director on that didn't get the guidance they needed, the direction. It just wasn't good. Watch the live action Dragon Ball, that you'll feel better. Yeah, that's, that's true. I've seen that one too. That one was really bad. Oh my god. <laughs> they made Goku into some American live action hero. I think the actor actually apologized for it. But it's usually not really their fault. You know, they get a script they get told what to do and then they get to see the end result and, and cry uh that's wrong you go over there oh yeah i bought an extra chicken um put this one outside for a bit there you go. it's in the way But uh, yeah, so the point was there's a lot of good anime movies out there that are not as, you know, long with epic long battles and long conversations just to draw it all out. And they're, they're good series too, to be clear. But that maybe that's not everyone's cup of tea. Why can't I throw here? <laughs> the hell? Okay, I'll not throw it then. That's weird. See, that one works fine. Coffee, more coffee. Go uh, oh, this way. <laughs> Don't watch it, Edgar. It's it's really not worth it. They took the the idea of Dragon Ball and then Americanized Americanized it to the extreme and then made it bad. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> Hello, what are you here? A 
Hold on, it's blocked by the chips. Spaghetti. Now you can go in there. There you go. Milk. More toilet paper. And some more sugar. Bought a lot of that coffee. Get it restocked again. There you go. Uh, are they not restocking it? I'll do it then. I'll do it myself. Yeah, there you go. The last box of chippies. No, no one, no one buying chicken. Hey, ma'am, have a nice chicken. No, okay. Worth a try. I still wish the light switch was just in the storage. Oh yeah, of course now someone comes to buy all the chicken and of course my restocker grabbed another box to fill it up. There you go. I was able to empty the box. A couple of boxes with one egg in there. Well, one box of eggs. Uh. There you go. Oh yeah, I can't put it down. There you go. You gotta love how the people in the back don't really have anything to do. But everyone's waiting in line here. <laughs> hey, Auntie. Hey, Henry. Yeah, it's good for the bones, Edgar. <laughs> He's getting all the cheese. No one wants to be helped by me. It's very sad. Well, I see though, now we can empty this box. <laughs> there you go.
One, two, 25, 30, 40. Okay. There you go. I had bad them look off. That was it for the the checkout because the customers are all uh, in line. Yeah, that's one of the bigger orders. 100, what, 180? 75. startled me I was really focused on seeing what uh, what needed restocking okay is there anything empty that uh, yeah the bleach the paper but not so much today yesterday we need a lot eggs you want to be stocking that no I think they're done actually I don't see a lot no they're not uh sorry that was the the blonde, yes. Two of that. Uh, one chicken and one potato refills that. Looks like we're out of hummus. I don't have that much space anymore in the order. No, that's it. Okay. We're good to go. No, they're still working. Let's go. Okay, not bad. Um, flour, yogurt, and uh, soap. Flour and yogurt. Flour and yogurt. Which yogurt? This doesn't help. Flour. Uh, it was the farine, so this one. Seven dollars and... What is this? Already, Timber. <laughs> Are you doing anti? He's driving. <laughs> I do. I get hungry as I'm shacking shelves. <laughs> Let me see if I can empty this box. Nope. That's gotta be one for tomorrow then.
Actually, um, since I did men uh, mention the mods today, there is also a mod that sorts the boxes when you order them. So it delivers them in order of shape. With the little ones on top, so they don't topple over like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Kebab Chef? Yeah, that, that one is fun. Has, a, has more variation to gameplay than... Uh, oh, I missed the box. Than this one. Then again, this that one is way farther in development, so... Unfair to compare. You're parked now. So are you done taking a break or are you done for today? Hey Chocolate Boy! Just buy lots of boxes full storage room? I don't do that because then you have... A, I mean, yes, you have a few days that you don't have to do anything but you also have a storage room full of money so uh, let, let's say I spent 20k filling up the storage room, right? I'll have 20k on the shelves that I can't use. Uh, also, I don't have space for it. I mean, yes, so like these products like coffee, I could put six boxes on the shelf. Actually, with the coffee, that might not be a bad idea considering how fast it's going. But with these, I made space for two. This one only can fit two boxes. And I order two, and then when it's out, I order two again. So while I could order more for a couple of products, all it means is more money on the shelves. You did feast at the Golden Corral? <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to catch up on sleep. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, right, let's order. And also, it really differs per product how much is in the box, right? So, for example, the chicken only has four items. But if you take something like uh, the meats, they have 32. You do a long time with one box of meat. I mean, I ordered two because it's easier than one, but it takes a lot. This can run out in a day, but this can take weeks. <laughs> so if I fill that up to the knock with six boxes, right? Let's Okay, let's say the veal for a second. Let's say I fill up the veal. That's three, 320 boxes. So that's 1920 dollars on the shelf it'll take me weeks to empty that out and it'll just be money on the shelf not making me more money so that's why i don't fill up my storage just to answer the question uh yeah yogurt plus it allows me to vary the gameplay a little x you know, a little bit of ordering every day, a little bit of other stuff every day. We need milk and all the juice. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> I suddenly hear growling next to me, but Max is stretching himself out. And he's got his hind leg full in Freya's belly, and she just growled at him. Where you asleep, darling? Hold on. Okay, I think peace has returned. Before she starts smacking him. And it's not... It's like, they're not fighting or anything. But she will smack him if he's too annoying. Which, fair enough. <clears throat> she'll, she'll teach him how to behave. We need white water and white cola. Uh, no, that falls under soda. There you go. Oh, actually, cola is... That one is called cola. Hmm. Ham pastries. Polka, thank you very much for subscribing. Ham pastry, I said, not ham. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, co cholesterol is, is very much a debated issue with me. Lots of people still believe that anything fatty will just, I don't know, cling to your arteries or something, but that's not how it works. We need the cheese. Let's see, we need the new, we need mozzarella, yes, and the new parmesan, there we go. And that's it for the fridge, good. So let's grab these items and then continue. Almost level 64. Uh, I just hit level 65, so that's good. Freya will keep the kids in line. It is true. Honestly, it's... Uh, I've noticed that I've for a long time I've had an older cat and then, you know, added a younger one and then maybe one of them passes away and you add a new one. The older cat will teach a lot to the younger ones. And it's worked out very well for me. So these two were pretty... You know, the, the don't touch me uh, when they arrived. They were pretty... No, not feral in any way. They, were, they didn't hit you. They just walked away. And I don't go after them because that just makes them scared. But Freya really showed them that, you know, it was safe and attention was fun. And here's the food. And the only thing they haven't copied from her is taking a treat. And it's really funny because... Max loves food. But Missy's Missy's more difficult. She doesn't like everything. But Max loves food. But he won't take a treat. Because he's he's scared of hands when he's sitting on the floor. When he's on top of something, he's fine. <laughs> but when I go to bed, I usually give him a treat. And then he's on the floor and he doesn't like No, he doesn't take it. If I put it down, he'll eat it, but he he won't take it. I've been trying to teach him, but it's not going well. But, I mean, if that's the biggest problem, it's not much of a problem, is it? <laughs> yeah, my problem with a lot of food science, and I won't go into deep on that right now, is that a lot of the research really... One, most doctors, especially GPs, don't get trained into food science and, you know, the consequences on your body and everything. Um, they don't know a whole lot about the digestion system. Most of them, I mean, some of them study up, of course. But it's not really focused on. And the research is really contradictive. Right? That makes it makes it really hard to determine what is real and what isn't. Because one year eggs are great, the next year eggs are bad. And then the eggs are great, and then the eggs are bad. And we, I've had that discussion with Rose before. <laughs> About eggs. Yeah. It's hard to realize, to know what's, what's real. Because you could put a group of doctors in a room and none of them will agree on what's true or not. You got cats got trauma? Well, yeah, probably. I mean, if something very scary happened outside, he won't want to go, will he? Okay, let Levy give the good example. That's how I did it with my cats. Did I already order? No, I didn't, because I don't have sugar. Le yeah, let's order it first and then we can open the store. Sugar. Sorry, we need to go to the shelf now. Light brown sugar, please. That's it. Yes. We're missing cake and candy. All the good stuff. Six packs, blue rice, so right, so right. 
Well, he probably, I mean, cats can hold on to a trauma for a very long time. I mean, other animals too, of course, but we're talking about cats specifically. Even if they don't quite remember what it is anymore, they'll still remember their own reactions and they'll hold on to that. So it just takes time and patience. I mean, I've... We, we've never hit the cats or, you know, but they'll still run away when you come at them when they're on the floor. Oh, hello. <laughs> it was a loose box there. We need green oil and hot sauce. It's just they must have had bad experience because before they came to us because they were already over a year at that point. Maybe they walked on the floor and people kicked at them. I don't know. I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, sorry, it wasn't blue and orange. So we got two spots left over. Anything for the freezer, maybe? Oh, yeah, let's get the. Uh, sorry, what was it? The mixed veggies? And it's called clotted cream. That one was low. Okay, perfect. Yeah, the upgrade prices are very high. I'm honestly tempted to just not buy something right now and see if maybe there's going to be an update of some kind. if they lower it tomorrow, I'll have wasted a lot of money. Hey, Elisheva. Was the house bound thanks to immune issues? Oh, that sucks. Glad you're here. And that I entertain you. That's the point. Who knows the things they saw? Yeah, exactly. Well, that... That is how it works. You have, you know, when you get a gat and it's, uh, even when they're very young, if they're from the streets, you know. Um, we actually adopted a cat and it was my, uh, yeah, it was the first cat I got by myself. So the, when I moved out of my mother's house, I took the cat, because it really, it was my cat. And, um, uh, but she got cancer, unfortunately. She passed away, and uh, so, of course, I wanted a new cat. And we went to look for a kitten, but she was, uh, that was Sophie, but she was hiding in the litter box. And honestly, that should have been a sign that maybe things weren't okay. But she was very fearful as a kitten. She didn't really come out of her shell until we adopted a second cat. Who wasn't scared at all. Who was extremely forward. And she immediately showed that, you know, there's nothing to fear. And Sophie really came out of her shell after that. Having a social cat can be, make such a big difference for your other cats. Or even a dog, too. Because they will copy. Well, I mean, to be fair, um, Hamu is, is probably starting puberty, <laughs> so uh, that is the... Uh, uh... Sophie had a time, too, that she, she would literally fling herself on my back. <laughs> that wasn't fun either, but, you know, it was a short time and it passed. This is the elbows, there you go. That's how it be sometimes. Cats are weird. Uh, cheese can go that way as well. Sugar goes that way. Oil. Candy. Rice. Just sorting it a little bit so I'm not running around the store 50 times. Mm. 
and sugar. Hold on. Can I uh, empty this one? Of course not. Oh well, it's fine. Surely sometime they must. Uh, oh no, I can't. I can't put it down. It's fine. Flower. This is rice. Oh wait, maybe we can empty this one. It's also a box with one in them. Yeah, there you go. I'm imagining Hamu wrestling like an emo punk. Yeah, that's pretty much what it gets down to. <laughs> Poor Hamu. All cats were wild barn cats. Yeah, that's a whole other story. Uh, so here, if you were looking for a cat from, um, um, what do you call that? Where, where homeless animals go. Generally here, at least. The pounds. Yeah, not really. Um, well, if you're going to adopt a cat, they'll have, like, different versions. You also have cats who you can only adopt as a barn cat. Because they're not, you know, they're too old to become really sociable with humans. Yeah, what they do here a lot is to they won't they won't adopt out a single kitten. So either you have cats and it will be checked or you adopt two. But that's only through official channels. Of course, there's a lot of people who have little nests they sell. <laughs> I'm switching switch play calm. Oh my god. Favorite kid as a uh, favorite cat as a kid loved you but hated everyone else. Yeah, that happens. Uh, I, I like I like watching animal videos and such. Though I, I prefer to watch people who who present it in a realistic fashion. And um, well, I mean Tucker is just funny too, but. So someone who's running a ranch and yeah, the, the horse died. Yes, it's very sad, but that's ranch life. You know, life continues on. <laughs> and so if I now follow someone who has a bird sanctuary. So uh, parrots and um, parakeets that are like not well taken care of. She also does gr grooming on people, you know, people She's a bird groomer, but she also takes in pets that are, you know, not taken care of well. Or need a home because the owner died. You know, birds, birds can live for a very long time, so that can be a very serious problem. But it's, it's very interesting to see. Found a cat outside, rescued him. <laughs> yeah. It, it takes time, Eric. Usually what happens is that if a kitten has, or any animal has had a very bad, you know, when they feel sick, they let you do a lot of things. And then when they get better and they get the energy back, the fear returns and it's going to take some time. But yeah, you do. You don't know what what they went through before then. And some cats are just insane. Some cats are just assholes. That's also the fact of life. Old friend of mine had a cat, and I loved her. I thought she was great. And I, but at one time, she, she, um, 
he would sometimes tease her a bit and she'd run to me for for, for shelter and we always had to laugh but uh, she loved me a lot every time i was there i was gonna sit in my chair and i would have a cat in my lap the whole day i was there and he explained to me once that she was literally declared insane by the vet because she would attack people out of nowhere so one time i didn't know that at the time but i had her just i had picked her up and i had her on my like you know in my hands in my arms on my shoulder and and he looks at me like what are you doing i said well i do you know i just cuddle the cat i do this with my own cat and and he couldn't believe that i could do that it was really fun well maybe yeah I, it didn't bother him luckily uh, but <laughs> that, that cat loved me a lot yeah, she unfortunately just, you know, got old and passed away as it happens, but... The the cat had been... I, later I learned then that she'd been completely insane, <laughs> attacked other people. She didn't, like, attack the vet. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I guess the, trip, the trick is bribery. <laughs> Honestly, if you're if the cat is food uh, food driven, that works great. I just have the bad luck that both the new cats have trouble accepting food from the hands. They're just they're scared of hands. They're getting better though. They're getting better every day. So, but the silly thing is that when they're lying next to me and they're just you know. They're sitting on the blanket or they're sitting on something. I could just pick them up and I mean Missy will Missy will yowl at me. She she screams. There's nothing wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. Nothing's nothing hurting. She just screams at me. And then you put her down and she just sits there and looks at you like, why'd you do that? <laughs> so I'm just trying to push it a little bit to make her stop with the with the drama behavior. Okay, no, we couldn't empty that box. Yeah, they're, they're funny. Oh, hello. Sometimes I throw boxes and then it lands on a shelf, but it's not actually there. But yeah, I can just pick them up. They want attention. They're not scared. They're just weird, I guess. <laughs> they're only scared on the ground. I, I guess that's a perspective they associate with fear and being hurt, so... We're patient. Uh, people smells? Yes, that too. That helps. Uh, the funny thing is that uh, looking away is generally a sign of like trust to cats. So people who don't like cats, they'll look away and the cat's like, oh, they like me. <laughs> they, they, they try to sit in the lap of the one person who's the most, most allergic, you know, how it goes. It's always the same. Hold on, I picked up the wrong box there. Oop. <laughs> Bring the floofs in for therapy. Um, you know, I've... I've Considering I'm I'm home most of the day, it would be fun to do like um, re re socialization of, of you know maybe kittens get them ready for adoption. But I don't know if I could do that. You know, raise a kitten and then let them go. I don't know. I get attached. Looks our, our freezer is quite empty. Anyone restocking said freezer? No. All right then. Um, green beans and what kind of pizza is that? That's the Tony's pizza. Interesting. Because the other two, we no, that's not true. I've refilled the, the cheddar, but the Tony's I did first, so the Tony's is selling a lot faster. That is strawberry ice cream. AKA vanilla ice cream. Yeah. So that's that order done. 
Yeah, let's just go to the next day so we can start. Mozzarella and green beans. Green beans are here. Purchase. <laughs> well, for flu therapy, if I would do something like that, I would take them in for a while, not a couple of hours. <laughs> Uh, well, if you blink at them, that's a whole other story again, right? The cats are just weird. Are you guys weird? Yeah. They're laying next to me, all three in a row. They have like, they're, they're, they're like switching puzzle pieces. They all three of them fit on that one blanket. They want to be there. We have like two other baskets in this room, let alone in the living room, right? It's, but they all want to lay down there. Okay, fine. Uh, it's not even on, I don't think, at the moment. Let me check. Oh, sorry, Max. Nice. Crap. Now the heater's on. Well, th that's not... Yeah, no, my heater's on the desk. That's why they're there. It is actually warm. I just realized that. Um, yeah, this one. Oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Accidentally put the green beans in with the potato pops. Uh, looks like we're okay. It must be that one, yeah. Okay, let's order the rest. Cleaning stuff first. Bleach, cleaner, and the sprays. Oh, sorry, which bleach? The big one. One, two. I think we're gonna need a bit more today than the yesterday. We got that. We need shampoo again. And one of each toilet paper. Is that enough or do we need to combine some boxes? Oh man, they're all... <laughs> they're all ones and twos. That is so annoying. Yeah, you go grab that. Okay, that's combined. Remove the toilet paper for a moment so I know exactly how much we need. You better grab the one with two. Damn it! Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, actually, oh, wait, I'll do it. There. Oh, they all fit on there, I think. Yeah. That works. Okay, so we need three of each, not one. One, two, purple. One more. One, two, three. Wait, it fits more? Ah, that'll be fine. Okay, um, we got the freezer done, so... We're at the fridge. Hey, 
Alison. <laughs> Never again will you post I will be home all day. Everyone wants to borrow your tools. I, yeah. Well, make sure you keep track and... Uh, the best way, if you are going to lend them out, make sure you agree when they're going to give them back. That way you can go up to them and say, Hey, you told me you were going to give me so-and-so back yesterday. Uh, are you done with it? You know, because they agreed to that. Tip of the day. It's always annoying when people borrow stuff and don't give it back. Parmesan cheese. On the upside, if they're neighbors, they're not hard to find. Don't ignore someone banging on your front door, Kakea. <laughs> oh, three more likes to 150. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, that's true. It can take a long time for cats to ignore bad associations and like you. Uh, I don't know, Kiwi. I mean, we have the money now. The thing is, I don't really need the upgrade, right? It's going to be a long time before I get more products. The store is great as it is right now. I mean, one block is not going to be a big help right now at all. Two mm, might allow me a bit more movement space, but... Hey, Doug, I'm good. Oh, he rents it out. Now, that, that's a smart way, too, because... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have stray cats here, so... Not not here in the city, at least. Not, not around here. We had two stray bunnies, but that was just... People probably dumped them. And I don't know what happened to them, if they were caught by uh, animal care or if they maybe not survived the winter. And they're not supposed to be outside, of course. You know, one thing I'd never really got with the ordering system is the fact that ordering six items is four dollar shipping but more is eight that means that you either pay four dollars for six items but if you pay if you buy more you pay eight dollars for ten items so it becomes more expensive it should be the other way around it should be um six dollars for ten items that makes more sense Okay, we need light, dark coffee and milk. Dark, light, and milk. Okay. A uh, tour of the store. Yeah, sure, we can have a tour of the store. Alright, so here we have our registers. Just, I have all four set up. I don't really see an upside in doing less. I'm just letting them do their own thing. It's not like I pay them every day because there's no money taken out of my account. So it doesn't matter that much. And then here we have the, of course, the, the fridge and the freezer section. Whole area. Here we have the dairy. Uh, plus the hummus because that's still the lost little baby that doesn't belong anywhere. So the cheeses. Really, I have the cheeses and the... Uh, it's fine. Maybe later on we'll we'll set it up better. Over here we have the eggs, the meals, the meat. Then we have the fish, uh, the beer, and all the sodas, water, juice, and milk. Of course, the freezer section. Ice creams, potatoes, pizzas, 
um, crab, chicken and veggies. Yes, that's sorted too. <laughs> the cleaning aisle, that's clean, that's aisle two. <laughs> the coffee, sugar and tea and also the milk. Here is the cake, candy, uh, cereal, bread, pasta and rice. Um, well, the, the jars, the bottles, the condiments, the, the, the spices. And then here we have the flowers, the potatoes and the chips. And here's the booze aisle. Your, st your stacker keeps getting stuck. I haven't had that problem yet. Is it anything he gets? Uh, oh yeah, sorry. And, and this is of course the storage space, which is sorted on shelf. So here we have, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, this is the fridge section from here to here. This is the freezer section. And then here, so here's the potatoes, the rice, the pasta, uh, the booze, cleaning, and the milk, coffee, tea, cake, and well, the honey and peanut butter still here. That should really be with the oil, but it's a bit full there. so. I moved it in the store, but I'll just leave it here. You're not supposed to be all the way over here. You're supposed to be over here. Oop. Yeah, we'll have to see how it's going to end up uh, in the future when we get more more licenses right now the plan is to and i'm not really in a hurry with that because the next license won't unlock until level 70 uh, but we're gonna buy more space we're gonna move the whole fridge section backwards and then this is going to be the book section i think because that, that's something that's usually at the entrance but no, it's often at the exit, but in this case, that's pretty much the same. Well, actually, yeah, because no, yeah, uh, no, the exit's more this way. So it should be actually be over there with the booze. If you did it that way, but it's fine. This works too. Really good neighbor, so that's good. Don't trust the return of tools. <laughs> well, to just tell her you need it and she needs to bring it back now. I mean, let's see if that helps. Oh, we got to 150 likes. I just saw it flip over. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Cotton tails and, and hairs. I think you mean hairs, not hairs. <laughs> that, that's mean. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm just teasing. If he decides to move in, you'll have five cats. Yeah, that's how it starts. Crazy cat lady, right? Um. Okay, I think I got them all. Also toilet paper, I just can't see which one. Time to there you go. Put away these huge boxes real quick. Uh I can't See which one that is. That can wait a bit. That. Oops. Oh, 
Ah, that's what I was stuck on. Shampoo. <laughs> oh, she lives six hours away. Yeah, that's not an easy return. Already there, fair enough. Yeah, th three is really what fits well in this house. So, uh, I'll likely keep it to that. Hold on, this, this is coffee. This needs to go over here. Okay, that means that you're automatically that one. <laughs> That's why I waited with putting it on the shelf. Boop, boop. More coffee. Uh, I'll, ch I'll check back on that. We might... I haven't ordered milk yet, have I? No, that's still in order. Okay. On order. Let's see. Chocolate, peanut butter, and bread. That sounds like a good combo. And bread. Alright, we need a lot of booze. Red vodka and whiskey. Oh, we're maxed out. Hold on. Whiskey. Wine. And no, not six pack, right? No, we need a blue keg. There. Oh, I forgot to put these away. Hold on. I was like, oh, I'm done. But no. Sushi. There are the big eggs. That's the other box then. And there's the cheese. Okay, uh, that means I'm over here now. Oh. First time I need, don't need to order any of those. So we need mayonnaise and red flour. Flour. That's a spicy order, $1,100. The last thing left over is potatoes. No, I can't. Can I open the store while holding this? No. Uh, yeah, he picked that one up. You're never done. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Steve. For the Philippines, that's quite a swim there. Miss Kittens isn't doing well. Oh, I'm sorry, Edgar. Can you take it to the vet? Ah, uh, well, we were just talking about that. If they're working on balancing things, it might be wiser to wait. Because the only thing I can upgrade right now is just add a cube of space, right?
I guess I could set up the, the fridge area. Or, or we just do it next time. That can work too. You do need to time it well if you're moving shelves about. Yeah, I was, I was just debating it because I know everyone wants to see it as soon as you have the money. And I, I can't blame you. But if they make the upgrades $10,000 cheaper tomorrow, you know, especially since I don't need it today. We could just save up some money until we... Uh, we get to level 70, which is actually going pretty fast. And see what we do then. The, the thing is, at this point of the game, I don't really need that much more space, right? I mean, I want it, that's different, but I don't need it. I mean, this is all very loosely set up. If I push these fridges together, I can put one there. Uh, half a fridge there. I can put a whole fridge next to this one. And then you have those three gone. We put the books there. Or we put the books with the booze. Because there's a lot of empty space there too. I don't know if the if this space upgrade would get me more customers. I have no idea. Is it? I think there's more customers possible, but I'm not sure. Okay, we do need those potatoes. Uh, yeah, let's add the sugar because I saw there's only one pack left. Add a milk because that's running low. How are we doing over here? <laughs> you can't see it. Uh, we're at level 65. Oh no, no not at all, Xila. I was just thinking out loud. Because I am tempted. Did I not order that pizza? I thought I did. Well, no one's restocking it and it's empty, so I guess not. Uh, but no, no one's being pushy or anything. I, I am, like, I am very tempted to upgrade as quickly as possible. I'm just thinking that maybe I should wait a little and see what's going to happen with future updates. You know what? Just add a potato and we're good, I think. There you go. Oh, extra order. Oh, the kitties. Hmm. I should wait with putting the potatoes in till they uh, empty that one. Yeah, same with the sugar. There you go. A uh, difference with the sugar and the potato is that if one potato gets sold, they will restock it. Because the shelf is 50% empty. Okay, there's our pizza. Pizza! You got a new puppy? Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Eddie. I did my best to keep it organized. It also helps with uh, ordering stuff. Because it, it all makes sense to me. The order makes sense. 
So it's easier for me to remember where everything goes. I'm not standing here like, oh dear, where was the sugar again? It's just here. But I need to check the shelving because it's a bit dark in here. I have a lot of lights up though. It's just that it's the, the distance between the floor and the light is bigger than it is here. You can see the, the light difference between the floors. Poor pizza. Oh wow, did we just run out of crab and potatoes? No, but pot not potatoes, fries. Yeah. It's too late to order, but... We can uh, make it ready for the next day. Uh, cleaning stuff. I see we need at least one box of each of those. Coffee? Oh, he's standing in line. Alright. Coffee. I saw we were low on milk again, but that's always the case. Come on, someone grab the chicken. Very good. Um, and we're out of potatoes. Or did I... Wait. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, wait, I ordered a lot of potatoes. So I didn't put it in because I wanted them to empty that one box. There we go. There, that's tomorrow morning's order. <laughs> Pair of Jacks and a Joker. Oh, goodness. Hey, Shane. A double doodle? Three cats and two dogs. That is a full house. We're not mailing Freya over. Sorry, Rob. I know a golden doodle, but what's a double doodle? Ah. Oh. Okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> that is funny. Nope, we still got customers, actually. I thought we were done. How big is her order? No, not even that big. Oh, wow, we're really low on peanut butter. Guess they just haven't restocked that yet today. Oh, got something in my eye. hair. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> Alright, last customer. Oh, wait, we had... To... I've got to put that one in. There you go. Customer's done. $700 profit. Yeah, I did order in the during the day though. Oh. 
Uh, sushi, flour, and sugar. Flour and sugar. Flour, sugar. Let me see. Flour and sugar. It was the Pablo sugar. That's this one. Uh, 60. I don't remember which flower it was. Let me see. This one. Just to make sure. Yes, okay. Uh, well, we need two of. Let's see, which one is that? The buff. Let's start with that then. We'll sort the chicken afterwards. A qua chihuahua. <laughs> early birthday Shane <laughs> you know sometimes uh, of course I you know I talk with people all over the world every day it's very cool but sometimes there's cultural differences that you know you never knew about and it's just funny um, one was pointed out to me recently in a video and I, I, I thought about it, it was like yeah that's true um, in the Netherlands it's considered to be well not rude but you just don't do it you don't wish someone an early birthday generally i mean maybe you know if, like now someone mentioned it but but it's very normal in many other other cultures <laughs> the new ghostbusters movie no i'm i haven't seen the last one either uh, the one with the kids so it looked into it looked good, but th this is the follow up of that one, wasn't it? I don't know. Okay, let's start with the freezer, so I can see if they're still working on said freezer. I don't think we need anything other than the chicken. Oh, hello. <laughs> I must have tossed the box and not seen it. Oh, all we need here is the... This cheese, actually. Okay, this side... White water and that cola not being stocked. Okay. So this one. And the white water's the first item you get actually from the fridge. No, sorry, it's blue water. See, I mixed them up. It's a good thing I checked. It's this one. Okay, got the cheese. That's it? Yeah. Well, I did order extra in the afternoon. Oh no, this is this is all full as well. God, I'm good. <laughs> no I'm kidding. <laughs> I just uh, sometimes I order in the afternoon and then of course the next day you don't need that much. Blue water is something you don't drink? No, that's fair. Uh, but it helps my memory if I say what color the label is. This always bothers me. This is the newer sugar and that one's in the middle of the shelf. 
And this one is the same box, but it's at the front of the shelf. Uh, that is light brown sugar. Yeah, that, that's it from the whole shelf, okay? Is no coffee? No. Okay. That, that, that's it? Okay. You have to realize this is the order for half the store. <laughs> More done, even. No, is it? No, but no, it's, I think it's about half. Mountain Dew by a blast. I never had Mountain Dew. It was, uh... I think that was the soda that was forbidden here in Europe for a long time because there was something in it that was not okay. Hamu slept on the bathroom. You mean in the bathroom? Is that is that weird for him? Just curious. Oh, the chimkin. It's coffee. <laughs> coffee. Would you like a coffee, sir? Or as the, the real British say, shall it be mother when you're pouring the tea? Oh, it's all wet, so Hamu got wet. Ah. Well, it's his own fault. <laughs> Silly boy. Uh, one keg. And vodka? No. This one? Yes. And the potato? No. We need mashed potato and green oil. Uh, we need crispy and spaghetti. Nothing here? No. Well, look at that. Yeah, let's open the store then. Only have this to put in. <laughs> uh, some cats like water. Just have to be careful with the soap. It's generally not very good for them. They need to bring back search soda, what? Was that an actual brand or is it from like a game? All the booze. Oh, she calls him Sewer Kitty. That's sad. Poor Hamu. Oh, sir, I'm standing here. Jennifer, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything we really want to order in the afternoon, except for another box of crispy cereal. I can check back a little later, maybe. Oh, cleaning tablets? There's, there's one in that box. Really, it didn't fit. That sucks. 
Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We can order that. Let's see if we can do a sprint combine. Yeah, I'm stuck. That's why I went to the outside. It's easier to run there. Okay, there we go. Uh, so two green, one purple. Oh, a light. It's one green, one purple. I now picked up another box again. Oh, oh. No, he has the rest of the chicken. Uh, yeah, everything is still very full. We don't really need more. day then tomorrow i think unless they empty like a whole bunch of boxes that are they will have two or three in them hey arbor hello 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 from the netherlands oh buy one get one free okay yeah oh, obviously that's not a, i mean we we use the trick but we call it differently 
literally translated for us the slogan would go um, get one pay no get two pay one and of course the biggest joke is to turn that around so get one pay two <laughs> it sounds better in Dutch but that's the point right they use a slogan that sounds good Oh yeah, there's the crispy cereal. Oh, I see. I missed the... Uh... Oh, that's easily solved. Oh, wrong aisle. trying to do it before they do there you go okay and what's this that's x2 okay this one can also be combined into one box instead of three trying to beat them to it it doesn't always work but one box is empty that's good enough for me no if someone else already grabbed it okay they grabbed the right one that's good it means it should be empty yes okay he's walking outside okay so one purple two green still full of papers honestly the thing that goes Goes the fastest. Are we out of boom? Yeah. Ta boom. Um, I think it's written like so. Yeah, there you go. I'm still waiting on the last customers and the restocking. Checking what we can order in the morning. Uh flower oh now suddenly this is empty huh huh bastards uh let me check this one first what the, what did i no i have nothing in there i had already thought i ordered the freezer nope no one's restocking so what do we need uh crab Let me see here. Crab, chocolate ice cream, and veggies. One spot left over. Let's give that to the chicken. The veggies can wait. Okay. It's the morning order. He's our last customer. We're very low on dish soap. There you go. I truly wonder how the priority is given to some products. Of course, there's one left over. Always one. Nope, that was it. Oh, so you can drink some water.
Oh, how many, sorry, how many hours you add up all the streams? That is pretty much, you'll come pretty close, but I can check in Steam. That's probably easier. Uh, 121 hours. <laughs> and yes, my wrists are feeling it. Uh, that's beer. That's, those are not eggs. Okay, good. We're emptying some boxes. Uh, that looks very full. No, that we were out of that ice cream, that's right. But the red beer? I just try to help a little bit here and there, keep it stocked. Because they take a long time, especially in the evening. I'm rich now, yeah, there's a lot more to buy. I'm just thinking to wait till next time. Oh, let me see if I have some mozzarella. Yes. No, that's all full. Okay, we did empty some shelves then uh, during the day. Or it, well, now it's emptying now, isn't it? Because they're restocking everything now. Oh, let's go to the next day. Oh, we're at uh, day 198. Yeah, see, we had to order the day, but the day, keep in mind the day before we had profit of 700. So th that's. Uh, what, 4,500 over two days. That's also still not bad. Chicken legs and black tea. Five thirty, and the black tea is next aisle. They don't refill the tape the tea the tea very fast, do they? Which is fair, because there's a lot on the shelf. So it's not really needed. There you Right, I forgot to pay the bills. That's why we made so much money yesterday. <laughs> I wish I could set up that uh, book nook. We're only level 65. We need level 70 to do that. I think that's... Yeah. You can see it a little bit on the color of the toilet paper. No, that's ice cream too. That means that you're the boom. And you're the ice cream. Crap. Then this must be chicken. Yes. Alright. 
now that's sorted. What else do we need from the freezer? The mixed veggies. Yes, thank you. Okay, they're done. Perfect. Then we can uh, order without concerns. Medium eggs. That's it. Side. Butter. Oh, the butter. It better be butter. Okay, what do we need for the cheese? Uh, Gruyere, mimolette, parmesan. Mimolette, parmesan, uh, Gruyere. Yes. Oh, sorry, we maxed out. I got the mimolette and the parmesan. So just this one then. I already quite ordered quite a bit. I don't think we need anything. Oh no, a light. Uh, that's right. I emptied the dish shop. Open that. fell behind Edgar no don't leave him behind we'll need to find all the little bones and stick them together again it's such a pain <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> and he's been a member for 42 months he says Nima puts the super in supermarket <laughs> Thanks, Auntie. And thank you very much for long time support. Why am I staring that way? The freezer is over here. Oh, I see a lost little box in the doorway. He's scared to come in. Hello, but a little butter box. There you go. All right, where was I? We got the dish soap. That means we're at the shelf now. Give me some tea. And it just went down in price too. Damn! Thank you very much for following. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hold on. I'm being challenged. Don't do it too much, guys. <laughs> Because I need to bop out each time. Where was I? Powdered sugar and pink sugar. Uh, this one and the pink one. Candy and bread. It's a super combo. Reminds me of an old game. Um, I don't even remember where I got it from. It wasn't Steam. Uh, but it's a cooking game, but it's a lot of... It's not so much about running a kitchen as it is about combining flavors. So a lot of the flavors, like you get classic combos, for example. Um, Duck and orange. Uh, it's a classic combo. Tomato and, and cucumber. Something similar as that. Simple as that. Hey, Daniel. 
Oh, he beat me. <laughs> hey, Lexi. Well, you didn't miss much today. I mean, I'm having a good time with everyone. Really happy you're all here. But yeah, we're at the point that we just need a whole ton of money. And it's not going fast. I'm trying. I got the wine. I think we need to order the most over here. Orange and blue rice. That's another batch full. Then we get to the pasta and everything except spaghetti. Pasta, pasta, and pasta. And cereal, the chocolate. Yeah, this corner is actually where we need it the most, funny enough. Ketchup, hot sauce, and yellow oil. But it's also the cheapest part. Ketchup, hot sauce. Very good. And this one, do need potatoes too. All the flour and potatoes. One, uh, one, two, one, two, and one, two, order. And then... Um... Anything we would... We would want to order along with that. Okay, let, let me see here. Can I empty this one? No, of course not. <laughs> that would make it easy. Only one bottle in that box. We'll put it in the order though. Uh, this top is outside. I know. Coffee always goes fast. One, two, three. And some milk. We're just filling up the order a bit. Okay, one more item. Honey. Honey is running low. There you go. Okay, everything is ordered. Let's open the store. Because as soon as you open the store, they start restocking. And then it's hard to see what you have in, in your storage. You know, they'll take the whole box with them. To fill up three items. I could do with some chicken. <laughs> Getting hungry. Didn't have much. Uh, was didn't have much appetite earlier, so it was a bit of a light meal. And that's the other potato. There you go. Hold on. Stretch my wrist, it's starting to bother me. Should also take some pictures actually. Someone nice looking drops by. Well, I can wait a little bit. Oh, wait, there's. She looks nice in her nice purple dress. Where are you gonna go? I think I already have a thumbnail with her on it. That's okay. <laughs> you know, red. It's getting more and more difficult to get an original thumbnail going. <laughs> What, what is the golden corral, Rob? Is it like a dim sum paradise? 
the, the meme uh, meme restaurant. Oh, kitties again. My my. It's a buffet. That does sound good. Because a, a buffet here is, you know, an all-you-can-eat restaurant with a walking buffet. They're often not super big. I mean, the really big ones I've seen from videos from like places like Las Vegas, and so I would love to give that a try. Now I'm really hungry. Stand in my shot. Moderation. Getting a little too close there. That'll work. Oop. One thing I haven't really taken a picture of is like this pile of boxes. <laughs> you got kicked out with your uncle when you went back for when he went back for his 15th place. The cheese is too expensive. I mean, yes, I can imagine that uh, them doing that. Who the hell eats 15 plates? No, that's a red one. But yeah, you shouldn't call it all you can eat then, should you? <laughs> and the ones I've seen cost an arm and a leg, Robert. It's, uh, the prices are honestly ridiculous. Um, we have one all-you-can-eat place we go to pretty regularly. And with regularly, I mean like once every two months. Um, it's, it's a bit of... It, it's mostly Japanese style, but they also have like some other Eastern, Eastern things. Uh, but it's not a walking buffet, so you basically... You sit at your table... And you can, you have two hours to order as many rounds as you want, but uh, how much was it? Four dishes per person, small dishes. But we're always done in like at most one and a half hours with the two of us. So it's not a problem and it's very good. But uh, they also have very good meat. So that's the difference with uh, one of those walking buffets, what I wanted to say is that here, you generally, they put someone down there at the... You can point at a piece of meat or say like, okay, I want a piece of steak or, or some chicken or something. And what type of steak. And they'll cook it for you right there. So what, okay, I don't mind to have to wait a little bit. But I've never ever had it cooked well. Because I generally like mine rare, medium rare at most. And even if you ask that, they will still cook it way too long. But on the other hand, they're also not always that good with their tongs. Meaning that they will sometimes grab raw meat with the tong they also use for cooking. Which is why I'm a bit careful with that. <laughs> even though the chance of getting sick here is small. 
but yeah, it's it's not the proper way to do it now, is it? And also, it's just um, it's the same price as the restaurant we go to. Uh, you have to walk through the crowd. Yeah, it's generally not as good. I mean, I don't need. I'm not going out to dinner. Uh, pretty expensive still, for a piece of pizza. You know. The desserts are often they're a bit old, you know, things like that. But uh, we stopped going. It, it, it just got less and less. More expensive, less time, but less food. There is, however, one, but that one's far away for us. That, that's a, a big drive. Oh, I ordered that one and I forgot. We still have one bottle. Oh, good. We can empty it. Uh, there's one in more to the south in the Netherlands, uh, the South Holland. And they are in a greenhouse. So it is a greenhouse in a greenhouse. So basically you have a greenhouse, then you have like a, yeah, a garden, they have water and koi fish. And, and then there's a greenhouse again in which the restaurant is. And that one is also not super great food-wise, but at least you have a good show. You know, you can take a walk in the garden. It's, it's very beautiful. But also, it's a long drive for mediocre food. Let me put it that way. Not my favorite. Fifteen plates. Jesus. <laughs> No, I'll take uh, I'll take that restaurant in uh, in Harlem any day over a, a buffet. And yes, it's actually easier for us to drive to Harlem than it is to take the subway into. Oh, I missed. Into the inner city of Amsterdam. You don't want to take your car into Amsterdam, trust me. No, wait, that one was staying here. And more coffee. Lost bread. Ketchup. Took a bit long with that uh, refill here. I do hope we didn't run out of anything. I could always do a run through the store to check. Okay, hold up. This is a mess. There you go. Some boxes flew in the shelves. Get them all, I think I did. Oh good. That one is gone now, that's right. Okay, so that sugar is a little annoying, but we'll solve that tomorrow. How are we doing guys? The customer's gone? Yes. Oh, oh. That's a bit much. Oh shit, what was the day on the top? This should be now what day 200, I think. Hold on, I need to write this down. Orange. Uh, papa cake and milk. Okay, let me sort that real quick. That one's going up to three. 
Is that... No, it's not pulp. It's this one. So, orange juice. And then the last one is the cake. Alrighty. I made a quick note there. Well, we've made some good money today. It's day 200. Been streaming for five hours i think this is a very good point just to to stop uh, for today the so next time it will be uh how many how many levels did i make today i think two two and a half level that's probably gonna take about 10 more hours to get to level 70 at this speed <laughs> now yeah, i'll go see if any any more Updates are expected anytime soon. And otherwise we'll just uh, hope for the best. And the, the thing is, I don't need all the space upgrades. I, I, I really. Because space-wise, I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty well set at this point. I mean sure I would like to have them, but they're expensive. But yeah, until we reach level 99, the uh, night of 90, that's going to be a while. But everyone, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the 160 likes. I'll be on the Discord for a bit longer if you want to come and chat. And uh, I'll very likely be back tomorrow. I'm going to make myself some food and grab myself a drink and have some sleep because yeah <laughs> i did mess up a little bit earlier too because i was tired yeah we'll check everything again next time i think this is a good point hello sir course looking good but uh yeah it's not uh, it's slow going it's still fun but it's slow going i'm gonna see uh what they're actually up to the devs safe so thank you all very much I wish you a good night or a good day, depending on where you're from. And I'll see you next time. Good night, everyone. Thank you.